All right, time for a little fishing. <clears throat> Might play some Diablo today, maybe some seven days. Seven days to die later, but right now, I just need something mellow and chill, like some fishing. <clears throat> Um, is the shop broken? I broke the store. Taking a lot of cut bait with me, in case you didn't notice. Got some one up barbless. Cute. Number four barbless. X series number four up barbless. A lot of card folks, but I don't even know what any of that shit is. <clears throat> what I apparently don't have is bigger than a five out of barbless. We got five and eight. I'll just stick with eight on all three poles and see what happens. That should be funny, right? Oh, shit, I was supposed to repair one of my rods. It's a mess. I failed to do that. Jesus. Oh, let me find my my cheaty map. I need my cheaty map. I can never find my bookmark, so I always have to scroll up in Discord and get it. <clears throat> and in case you're wondering what I mean by cheaty map. Uh, let me check my cell phone real quick. I'll be right back with you. Hello? Hello? Hello, which robbers are you? Very noisy. Who are you trying to call? You don't know who you're trying to call? Yeah, fuck off then. Pardon my language.
What was I saying? Map. FP-collective.com has a fishing map. And you can look at bite maps and see where people report catching what kind of fish and what they catch them on. It's a little bit cheaty. Because you can see where you should fish if you're looking for something in particular. And today, I'm looking for something in particular. I am looking for... Shiners, Warmouth, Oscars, Bullheads, and Red Ear Sunfish. Not set up to catch anything like that. It's a little war mouth. Any place you can catch a war mouth, you could probably catch a shiner and an Oscar and a bullhead. You could probably catch all that any place you can catch a war mouth. So if I look at my cheaty little bite map, uh, and I select from the drop down, I select me war mouth, it'll show me where people have reported catching such things. There ain't a lot of options here, I'll tell you that. It's been three reports of a war mouth found blood worms. And one of those, I think, is right behind this boat bay. Let me see. Oh, holy scrolling. Yeah. Actually, and they caught him right over here. Let's take a hike around backside. <clears throat> According to that thing, they caught it right out here. And what do you catch a warm mouth on? Minnows? I think generally like crickets. Maybe blood worms, something like that. Let's try blood worms. What size hook we got here? That's a number one. That should do the trick, right? Ah! Got him. Let's just put a rod holder here. Throw a bomber up under this bush. Take all these big old rods. We'll put number one hooks on them. And we'll rebate to let's see, we'll put a grasshopper. We'll do a, a cricket. And we'll do a blood runner. We'll just toss them all right up here along this wall somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that was a fail. That's a lot too, please. Thank you. And then we got, we'll put this under the bush, the cricket, we'll put the cricket on, oh, hell. I don't know that shit rolling out there on that log. Let's put the cricket out there. Oh, that's a grasshopper, not a cricket. Oops. That's been a nubs attack. Good morning, Mr. Nubs. Oh, we already caught something. That is not a worm mouth. What the hell is this? A new personal record big mouth buffalo. Alright, take it. And we got something on the grass up I'm just doing the exploration here for bleak crab. Trying to catch all the different little things. Yeah. There, brown bullhead. 
Wow. All my rods are going ape shit. What do we got here? Yeah, the XP bonus you can get from the missions would be good. Yeah, yeah it is. And you get little lures and stuff. It's fun. That's a unique spot out there by that branch. A lot of fish roll there, that means it's a unique spot. What unique, I don't know. Put a blood worm on a bobber out there too, just see what happens. My brother's over here getting me in trouble. Oh, how's that? So, cousin was selling his house, right? And he's getting rid of some stuff. Mm -hmm. So, my brother was looking for more. I was like, oh, he has a mower. Um, let me go ask him. And he might sell it, you know, maybe 50 bucks. And my brother, he, uh, he gets called today by the cousin. Cousin's like, hey, you looking for a washer, dryer, or a fridge? He's like, no, but I have your 60. He's like, 60 for what? It's like, oh, there's more. What the fuck? He didn't even ask you if he was selling it? <laughs> I, I, like, no one asked him yet. He's like, I just got your 60 for the more. Like, <laughs> nice. There's a red here, sunfish. What kind of fish do you reckon are rolling all around that log up there? Like carp or red drum, I guess. See, Nuns doesn't know, so he looks at the, the map. <laughs> it's not like I can't do that myself, huh? I do have the map up. Let's see what, what the map says. There's a unique snook. Yep, there's a unique snook hangs out there. Hey, there's my Oscar. Well, if you can catch it, St. Croix, that's 50 pounds. St. Croix, that's 50 pounds? Sturgeon. Yeah, that first, they showed the leaderboard, and the first person has 520 pounds and 10, 10 fish from St. Croix. It's got to be, got to be sturgeon, but they're not even usually that big. Maybe some, uh, some uni, uh, Uh, fuck, what's the fish? What's the big pike there? The glass pike, maybe? Ooh, this guy got big coin. 97 pound rod. The rod. I think it's probably the biggest ride in the game is I need to catch a shiner and a warmouth. I came here to catch the warmouth. I haven't caught a warmouth yet. Got almost everything else on my list, but not a warmouth.
I got six buttons on the side of my mouse. So I tried to put a macro on there so I could do shift one, shift two, shift three. Right. It didn't like it. Mm -mm. No worky worky, huh? Hmm. What lure do I want to try? Let's try this current bait. It's too light for the rod, but I might be able to cast it a little ways. Did you get the trophy collector in three or the thousand trophies? Uh, probably. I would assume so. I haven't got it yet. I assume I've got that many trophies, but I don't recall if I have. Yeah, I'm focusing on time certain too much. It's a lot of beeping. And there's my war mouth. And a trophy at that. All I need is a golden shiner. I don't know if I can catch one of those here or not. Wow, you hit awful hard. You're certainly not a shiner. The hell are you? A unique big mouth buffalo. Sweet. You're not a shiner. There's unique golden shiners here. Are you serious? You know, they're 20 pound golden shiners. Wait. Why is it showing me? What? My map is showing me bonefish, permits. Speckled bass. I want a shiner, you dipshit of a map. No, right, I hear you. Shut up. Porky bluegill. Alright. 
So anytime I select Golden Shiner, it seems to show me everything on the map. I mean, literally everything. Except Shiners. Oh, there's some. Oh, I see what the problem is. These fish were caught on Shiners. I think I might have to take my boat for a drive. That's, that's a nice fish you got there, buddy. Be a shame if somebody snuck up behind you and pushed you in. I look behind me. You're not here. <laughs> no, this is the left fish way. Oh. He's fishing over here in my drum hole. See if you're standing on the boat dock. See my marker right there? If you're not really. There's a stick really? sticking out of the water right there. And uh, that's the drum hole. I got several uniques there. And he just he pulled him in a trophy permit. Very nice. Nice looking fish. This is nowhere near the spot it wanted me to go. But, man, if you were a shanner, wouldn't you live here? I would, but let's go see if we can find some place to get on land. I won't try to do this from a boat. I wish I was getting some bites here. What are you talking about? It's got a 32 pound unique. Yeah, not a lot of bikes at all. Where in the hell am I? I have no idea. Lost out in the freaking grass fields. It looks like the Everglades. It does. This feels like driving around freaking canals on Lake Okeechobee. This place is freaking enormous. I'm close to where I want to go. Need a faster boat. You could get one. Good. But I'm okay. Ah. <laughs> That was a nice. I like how this boat makes barely a ripple though. Stealth boat. No, I need one to uh 
to make Ripple Sucker show off my 11.7 inch. <laughs> or was it pounds? I forgot. It pounds. It pounds. Hey, a pound per inch, you're doing all right. But it's so big. So hey, it leveled up. Is there a risk tournament today? Is there a what? Risk tournament. I don't know why. I got three recommended risk channels. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think third round of the chaos tournaments today, actually. Uh -huh. I watched a kilted video this morning. Man, he said something about it too. So let's see. If I was to take my that Congo boat looks real nice. I know. I want that Congo boat. <laughs> I just saw someone driving it. I think it's smooth sailing, <laughs> fifty-one miles an hour. I got number one hooks, and I got number four hook to work. Put a number four hook on here, and some say what. Simulina? Yeah, Simulina. Let's try that. Let's see if we can talk a golden shiner out of coming out of this patch of weeds right here. I never even looked at my time for the day. I just came here and started fishing. A bald head cut a warm mouth. I thought Rue was going to fish with us. going on over there. Yeah, there, golden shiner for a guest. Yeah, we're done here. We got four Helgramite larvas. That bug is called a Helgramite. When I was fishing for trout up in the uh, Salmon Trinity Alps up in Northern California. You'd walk in the stream and start turning over rocks in the water, and you'd find these little bastards under the rocks in the water. And they make fantastic trout bait. Except these says they're four inches long. They weren't no four inches long. They were maybe one inch long. All right. So, Blue Crab Exploration 2 is going to net us a Bitcoin 4,000 cash and a pack of Texas rigs. We got to catch a channel cat. 
a gaff topsail cat, a bowfin, a long nose gar, and a southern flounder. That's right. Catfish are easy. Bowfin, hmm. I have no idea where to catch a long nose gar. I bet I know how to find out. I bet I can catch them back at the boat basin. Well, by all means, let's go back to the boat basin. The quick way. Let's see, what are we going to do here? I think we're going to put our, re-rig our Arbless 5 Ops back on everything. We'll start with, put a Shiner on the bobber. 25 inches is fine. In fact, let's just go shiners on everything. We might as well throw this one out here and get this unique snook while we're here. Put this over there. The shiner, we'll put it over by those sticks. Something's already going after that shiner. See him rolling over there. We'll float this one in that same area. Whatever got him already took off. My shiner back, buddy. Hey, okay. pretty decent, whatever it is. Is that a striper? Can't tell if that's a striper or a drum. That is a trophy common snook. Should I catch them all day long? That's nice. Something's about to get on my number one rod. I see him chasing the shiner. And my number Chasing around, just grab it, buddy. I didn't need shorter leaders so my shiners can't swim away so much.
Probably should have checked my fishing clock too while I had all my rods out. That's pretty awful. We'll just pretend it's fine. Actually, I'm being an ugly gar. Long those gar are nighttime feeders, aren't they? That's poop-tastic. I'm fishing at the wrong time of day. Go ahead, grab that shiner. You know you want it. Well, there's my both in. Not even what I was after, but I'll take it. But if there's a bow fin hanging out there, there's a gar hanging out there. Guaranteed. Get back to the boat, uh. Make sure room. Not in your room, right? Are you in right. Are you? No, I was in a random room. No, because I saw you just caught that eight-pound trophy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, I didn't realize we were in When I went to change rooms, it uh, gave me the option of joining my friend's room, so. <laughs> uh, Matt. No. What am I doing? Time. Let's go to nighttime. Let's put this back out there. And you... That wasn't anywhere near far enough. So we'll put that in slot three. We'll put six at those sticks. Put that in slot two. We'll put five right out here by this bush. Put that in slot one. And then we'll float one right out here in the middle. Turn off the light so we can see our lights, Blinky. Oops, something's already after number two shiner. And number three shiner. Something's chasing them. That's guy standing on the boat dock. And he's standing right on a launch dock. He's fishing in my red drum hole over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the long nosed gar first fish. Nope, that's a bowfin. My bad. Hey, at least you're pulling out unis. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. It is. I mean, it's not exactly a monster, but it's a uni.
Excuse me, large mouth. After that channel already. There's the garfish. Number one channel. And took it. Only one reported place on this map for channel cat. It's a little weird. There's Gar and both in here. It seems seems likely there'd be channel cat too, right? Is there a whole deep hole around here anyway? Kind of right on that marker I've got in the basin. Not quite to it, maybe a little left of it from my perspective. So say right about in there should be a hole. Seven feet deep. Yeah.
Not very deep. I could drive my boat back there to where the channel cat is supposedly at, but it's got to be more than just there, surely. Like this, probably one. You're a channel cat, right? You're definitely not a channel cat. What are you? Alright, well, if I'm catching topsail, that's too salty. I need to go further into the weeds. Yeah, that's the wrong flavor catfish. I gotta go further into the fresh water. Oh, at least he was a uni. I guess I am going to have to try to go catfishing from the boat. That's annoying. It's a one-line deal. Where the hell am I? Turn that shit in the engine off. I'm not lost, I'm here. Trail lost. I don't know this place. This has got to be like this part of the Mississippi River Delta or something. That's going to be all this grass.
It'll be a while. Guessing it's that clump down there with the trees on it. There's a cabin down there. So, I take my marker out of the boat bay. I need it. I don't have any extra markers. Right on this hole. Okay. Fishing with one bait rod out of a boat sucks. You see that? It's not the fun stuff. Like catching thirty one pound tarpons. I'll be back in. I'll be back in a sec. Don't threaten me. Alright. I'll be here. Trying to catch catfish. Bored out of my skin.
can't tell if it's deep water or shallow, but it's a channel cage. It ought to be in deep water, right? Hmm. Weird. I don't know, man. As far as I know, there's no place you can get out of the water, but the boat. On board. Give me this channel cat so I can move on. I have him. Yes, jump cat. Right, we're out of here. I right, get my marker back. And let's uh, let's do the whole fast travel thing to. Care where? Go back to our boat. Just now we're gonna go hang out with Nubs. See you later, bullhead. Pupper. One run, sweetie. I hear Grace out in the yard barking. Why aren't you out there barking with her? Oh, chill. Coming the horn in on your spot, Nubs. You have a fish here I need to catch.
six out of five, eight out of two. It's gonna be Alright, let's play the big game. I'm gonna do a shrimp for everybody. That didn't take long. What do you reckon we got? You are not a flounder, I know that. Hang in there, buddy. I'm good. I think Rod seriously needs a little maintenance. Line and leader are about done. You're not a flounder. Can't get my third rod in the water. Hey, hey, keep your drum out of my boat. She might get all three rubs at the water this time. Hurry, 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 hurry. Nope, oh, almost.
That's not obnoxious at all. I don't know what this is, but it ain't no damn flounder. It's a big old fatty. This could be a flounder. I don't think it is, though. Snook. Oh, striper. Interesting. Not at all what I was expecting to catch. I fuck that rod every time. Every time I pick it up, I mess it up. I gotta get rid of that blue bell. Not touching it. If that rod's bending, I ain't touching it. Alright, it's gone now. rolling out there, but we'll give them a shrimp. Alright, can I take a minute and look at my lures? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, don't think a natural walker is the way to go, but we have a customer. I'm going to Oh, I love when they bug out and just fly in. Flounders hit any kind of lure, do they? It says they'll hit soft baits. Is that a fact? Is that a fact? <laughs> Anything but a small. Well, let's see if they'll hit one of these shiny new larvas I got. it across the bottom and see what happens. If anybody tells me flounder ain't a bottom fish, I'll smack them with my fishing rod. I 
Now what I don't know is, is a flounder a nightfish? And you don't actually know the answer to that question. I don't think he is, actually, now that I think about it. I might be fishing the wrong time of day. Um, does anybody know the answer? Southern Flounder. I have never fished for a Southern Flounder. Uh, is it would be useful if they said whether fish were day or night feeders. I think they're probably... I think I need to reel in and try to get them. I know my buddy does flounder fishing in Chesapeake Bay all the time. Well, and off the coast of Chincopeak. But I'm pretty sure he does it in the daytime. Maybe he's trying to do the same. We shall see. Happy day. But whatever. change time we'll leave everything out the same we'll throw bait number one over by the mangrove put bait number two on that little rolly spot right there if i wasn't terrible at casting and we'll put bait number three on this rolly spot over here I shall wait and see what happens. We'll give him a Arbor to play with again. Fish are not amused by my choices. Take it back. Someone is playing. That's not a flounder. Don't think they get that fake. Would be a drop. That would also be a drum. That's a drum that. Doesn't want to turn and come this way. He's just leaving.
Come on, fella. Get up here. There you go. Hello. Welcome back. He had trouble. Mm -hmm. With the perfectly working lawnmower that I gave him. Mm -hmm. All I did was, it was a, a push, push mower. Yeah. So I took the handles out, and there's like two bolts on the bottom. All I had to do is slide it back on, slide the bolts in, and that's it. It would work. Too much of a challenge, was it? Yep. He's like, oh, I took this apart. <laughs> and then now it's not pulling. He ended up uh, pushing the bar all the way to the ground, so the, the blades weren't spinning. <laughs> You uh, don't exactly have a family full of mechanics, do you? No. He's like, oh, well, Dad said to check if there's any grass stuck in there, and I checked, and there's no grass. I'm, like, looking at the bars touching the ground. There's bar touching the ground, dumbass. So he got that. Then he's like, oh, I have gas from four years ago. Would that work? And I was like, yeah, if you want to blow up that engine or not make it work anymore. You can run paint thinner, but it's not advised. He has five gallons of bad gas. Speaking of bad gas. I did not winterize my generator. The year before last, it's been sitting in my garage for two years with bad gas in it. I need to get out there and flush that out and strip that carburetor and clean it before I actually need that generator. Because it sure as fuck ain't gonna run. Oh no, all the rods are beeping. All this fish just reel in. I got barbell hooks, there's no way those aren't getting away. I don't even care, there goes one of them. Whatever's on this pole needs to quit fucking around and come at him. I don't know why I bothered with it, I should just let it go. I'm after a flounder, and this sure shit ain't no flounder. I see fins sticking out of the water to a drum, but pretty heavy duty one. It's official, I need bigger, I need bigger gear. 54. Hmm? Oh, so you got 50 pound rig. Yeah, this is a 50 pound rig. Right around 50 anyways. But whatever the hell fish this is doesn't want to come in on a 50 pound rig. Even a little bit. Here he comes. Finally. He's a chunky boy. Oh yeah, he was a real chunky boy. No wonder he didn't want to come in. That explains it. Messing with him and trying to fish. I lost like three unis. <laughs> All right, so. What the hell rods what? This one's for that hole. It was on the number three slot. Number six rod. 
for that roll. Goes in the number two slot. That's the one the fish got off of. I cut a boot that looks suspiciously like a Nike tennis shoe. Yo, know, that's PPE right there. That's PPE. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. For PPE, they wanted us to wear a boot, but I had uh, steel toe non slip slip ons. Hmm? Good brand. They're a marrow. It is decent. But they weren't full foam boot, uh, you know, boots. I had a bad experience with steel toe boots as a teenager. I hate wearing them. I still do. When I needed, hate winter. I uh, I had a big old friggin' uh, log spin around and smash my foot between a stump and a log, and it actually bent the steel of my steel toe boots down onto my toes, cut my toes to the bone. And then I got to experience the joy of the friggin' local fire department trying to pry that steel insert up and get get it off my foot to get my foot out of the boot. That was a lot of fun. It took them about half an hour to get that fucking boot off my foot so I could stitch my feet up. One of the least pleasant half hours I've spent in my life. You should have had like a, a jar of pasta sauce to just drop on the floor and be like, you bled so much. Just take me to the hospital, you guys don't know what you're doing. Unfortunately, it's, it's about a two-hour ride to the hospital Damn. from where I was. Damn. Up at a logging so camp just, in the middle they, of fucking nowhere. They pried it up, and that's what they did? Yeah, they had, they, well, yeah, pretty much. They didn't have anything at the time they could, you know, they didn't have like a little miniature jaw life or anything they could get it off me with so they basically pried it they uh made like a little uh almost like a little gear puller press thing with a fucking bolt and a nut and got it pried open enough to get it off my toes because the steel shank in the boot, you know, that that's in the sole, and mm -hmm. the uh, steel cap on the toe were basically one piece, and when it bent that toe piece down, they had a hell of a time getting it back up. It was, it was not fun. To be fair, if I hadn't been wearing the steel-toed boots, I probably would have lost my foot entirely, but I still didn't want to wear steel toes after that. <laughs> No, the only thing I hate is uh, how cold they are in the wintertime. I remember one time it was negative 25 out, and I was working in public works, and we had to go and shovel. My eyelids started freezing because of the wind plus the chill. Oh, fuck that. And then the steel toes on top of it. <laughs> No. Most of the work I did in the winter was mining. Because uh, logging woods would get shut down in the winter time. And I didn't have to wear steel toes mining. I had to wear them logging because there would be uh, inspectors occasionally would check on your shit and if you weren't wearing them you were, your boss would get in trouble and shit rolled downhill so 
with mine and there was no overwatch so we did whatever the fuck we wanted and we that's usually what we did in the winter they were private claims they weren't like company claims Just no. drilling friggin' rock. Shit, that sounds dangerous. Go A private with, with no... With, I mean, you guys had bracing, but... Yeah, I mean, well, we did everything ourselves, so... Um, we didn't even own the claim. We got paid to do the uh, assay work on the claim. In order for the owner of the claim to keep the claim, he had to show that he did so much money's worth of of work in the mine every year. And he just hired us to go in there, and we'd, we'd drill and blast another 20 or 30 foot of rock in every winter. Just enough that he could show he was working it so he could keep the claim registered. We spent more time freaking sitting around a campfire drinking beer, shooting the shit than we did working. Yeah, because if you just needed to hit a certain quarter and you hit it, that's it. You're yeah, done. yeah, that was it. And we got paid a flat rate. You know, he, he paid us. He paid us all. It was like it wasn't even much. I think it was like three, four hundred bucks a piece to go in there and work the mine, and we'd spend a week working it. And, well, we'd spend a week at the mine, probably a grand total of about. 12 hours working. All right, nubs. Teach me how to catch a southern flounder. Pickles, what are you doing out of rest? Yum, that was delicious. Muscle meat, small cut bait. What's that? Chat, end game. What a mess. 129 pound holy shit dude nice yeah that was delicious that was a hell of fish right there man i've had heartburn this morning i don't know what from i had two tuna sandwiches and a grilled cheese I had some tater tots and the, my son's last frozen corn dog out of the freezer. I'm going to try muscle meat, small cut bait. You are too big to be a flounder. Oh, smoke. Oh, what the hell? We'll keep the shrimp out there, too. If I need to go to smaller hooks. Five out hooks too big for a flounder? All these questions.
No. We should try to keep it for a second. No way. Where's my buzz bait? Ah! That was about to fucking hit me head on. We're getting raided. You have a new fishing partner now. Who do I? Yeah. You got two guys set up right on top of you there now. Right on top of me. There were just actually three guys. <laughs> that was the third one. I was wandering up behind you to laugh at you. No, there's three there. Oh, there's, shit. Yeah, there's three including me. Do we need to make a new private room? Possibly. Let's get a little crowded over there. I thought it was fish growing hands back there. <laughs> There's another boat to come sit right in front of me. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a new friends only room because there's another boat pulling in here. This is getting a little nuts. All right, you guys want to fish with us? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to friend up. All right, I swapped to a friends only room. Getting a little too thick in there.
I'm giving them small cut bait, shrimp, and mussel meat. First hit is on the mussel meat. Size feels right. That's not a flounder. Little drone. Okay. Who grab another flounder? I don't care about the unique. No trophy. I just want a flounder. <coughs> this is a small fish. It's either a catfish or it could be my flounder. That is my flounder. Very nice. Dang it. Got me a Texas on. rig. Do what? I was getting strategies all suiting up. <laughs> I was like, gotta get a flounder before him. Too late. Caught him on the muscle meat. Oh. And on the shrimp. Yeah, I was gonna use <laughs> shrimp and muscle meat. I would have definitely caught him before you. <laughs> That got me four thousand dollars of bait coin and a pack of Texas rigs. Uh, what does that leave me? Blue Cab Island Trial. Oh look, and it will reward me the buzz bait that I bought yesterday. So if I do salt water, I'll get a major popper too. If I do the trial, I'll get Buzz bait. Let's do salt water since we're here. Snook drone bonefish permit tarpon. So go a horn in on Nubs' spot over here. That's where all those fish are. Oh, you never came over here, did you? Fine, I'll get the good spot. Hey, uh, for sturgeon, it's large cut and spawn sack, right? Or crayfish, yeah. Spawn sack's best. You don't get as many other unwanted fish.
Lovely view in the fishing hole. Oh, something's already going after that shiner. Oh, this is gonna get busy. This is gonna get real busy. He just winches his ass right in. I need a snook of bonefish and a permit. This, this is a tarp in my picture. Yep. Well, you know, diddly about uh, permits. Shrimp, gulf shrimp, mullet. Sardine, crawfish, cut, crab, clam meat, mussel meat, sand fleas. Hmm. Right, let's take this one around. Let's go with mussel meat. <clears throat> Get some interest on the muscle meat already. Something's after my shiner. This guy's over here using a number four and a number six to catch surgeon. That's doable. I'm gonna pick that up. There's a fish on it, that's why I picked it up. Sort of a fish. I use number fives to catch sturgeon, so. I use number fives for just about everything because that's what I have. Hey, I got the bonefish. 
I just need the snook and the permit. It looks like the snook. All I need to catch now is a permit. And catch him up in the boat basin easier, probably. I made some mint tea for the heartburn. You did what? Mint tea for the heartburn. No. Oh. <clears throat> Took a couple sips, it's gone. Nice. Oh, I got him. I'm a shiner. Of course, I had to catch him on my lightest rod. I don't think he's that big, though. Got me a 20 pound permit. It gives me a two and a half ounce seven aught popper. Holy cow. That's a big boy. No. Darn. All right, gotta catch a bass. Do I have to catch them on any particular thing? No. Should we go to this place that's called the Bass Base? Oh, it's a raft. What the hell? Oh, God. Closing my door. I hear a car door in my driveway. That means the rugrats are here. Yo. Let the screaming begin. So, I was a bass. I think I did this. What a horrible place to put a bass. Put one over there. That's fine enough. That one foot, one point four feet deep. Put one over there. Also, well, jump one out of the middle. Good ship testing. You test it pretty much. Thank you. 
well. Let's see if there's actually a gas thunder. Oh, there's a lot of thunder. It got dark in here. It looks like they're staying inside today. Mm -hmm. Crap. It just unloaded out there. What is going on? Oh shit. Weird thunderstorms, yeah, I'll say. The tarpon do love shiners though. Yeah. I can catch it on a large, a large cut from time to time, but it hits shiners hard. That seems to be cool. Couldn't put a boat in in my net. <laughs> Must be time to go to the next boat. Holy tornado warnings. Southern Alabama and Southern Georgia are getting jacked up. Oh, the next day is kind of a little lousy. Alright. Okay, we'll do that. 
in the world now. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and start. Like that's one there, but it take five minutes to reel them in from 300 yards out. Thirteen hundred dollars this show. Thank 
Guys, like, easy way to peel to cut watermelon. He pulls out a mini lathe. <laughs> oh, that must be nice. Here I go boating off to keep that fast on. We'll, uh, there were some shiners out here in the drum hole, but I'm pretty sure I was pulling striper out of here. Well, all the plants outside were dying because of lack of water. I think they got watered. Yeah. Holy shit. Massive thunderstorm. We're getting hammered. We probably got fucking inch of rain in the last five minutes. Maybe more. You are not a striper. Could be gas up there on the dock anyways. Or just fucking leave. Why would I do that? Yeah? Uh-huh. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, there's a fair chance it's gonna rain. Yep. Had this fish 15 feet from the dock. I thought he was coming in, then he ran out to 150. He was like, sight, later. Come here, before the fish gets off my other rock. Get up here. No, 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 you're at 15 feet, come back. There we go. And fish escape. Son of a bitch. Oh, I got your ass in this. The last two mowers my brother had, he blew them up because he didn't put oil on them. Yeah. Ain't the sharpest tool in the shit, is he? Nah. That's why you went electric, because there's less less maintenance, supposedly. <laughs> it's oil, for fuck's sake. It's not that hard. <laughs> I 
And they're decent motors. There were it was a Honda and a Briggs Stratton motor. Damn near impossible to kill either one of those. Well, obviously not impossible. You gotta work at it. I guess I should open the door so my puppy can get in. After I reel in this fish. Which is hopefully a striper. That is not a striper. That would be a permit. But you, you a striper? You took off for the fucking horizon. Must be another tarpon. Another tarpon, indeed. Oh, I think about it. I think when I was catching stripers in this hole, I was fishing at night. I said. You know, they're trying to get their lunch already. Yeah. One letter. Tell her, you tell her to sit down. Damn it, sit. You need to sit, or you need to come in here and behave. Oh, oh, I got beeping. That's a permit. That is not a striper. Oh, it's probably keep you busy, isn't it? Personal record permit. Hmm. 
We're gonna get thunder still and see the rest of the day. for the rod but maybe it'll do hey you've almost hit nine pounds on that guy he keeps getting bigger he's just what a shell huh About to land. Who did what? I was about to land. Oh. I was gonna say nice, uh, nice catfish there. Oh, <laughs> that was you, pal. <laughs> That's why I said your catfish are getting bigger. You're almost hit nine pounds this time. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uni hangs up back there in those suites. I see some rolling on the water. That almost always means a uni lives there. Oh, my fishing just dried up completely. So I get that spewing hard. striped cousin snook
There's no doubt I was catching trackers like crazy before when I didn't want them. Put one of these shiners back on the cup bait. I'm going to play with my frog because he won't lose him. I've been reading patch notes and Blizzard's just been nerfing everything left and right. Dungeons and loot raids. <laughs> that's the that's the usual thing. Heavy first tractor. You must be a dumb. I don't know what kind of weirdest flopping around is that. It's almost like I caught a damn sturgeon. Oh, that's a dumb. He's just acting funny. Hey, right, where are you going, buddy? Talks this way. I have to throw a bait back there. Oh, listen, something does. Not interested in my frog and all that. I take a Bass gauge. Yeah, I've got an X series gauge. Oh shit, that thing's a monster. What? Hang a larva off the back of it? Oh, it's beautiful. I don't like catching whales. Let's 
There's no way that thing's getting off the bottom. It's a friggin' two ounce jug. I'm jigging here. That's another problem. Okay. Yo. Competition started, bagger she leave. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just trying to get level fifty six before the competition ends. Fifty six? or is it fifty six to get come here? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have enough patience to grind that hard. Oh, uh, 54. Oh. I ain't got 50 yet. That way I can just come here normally. What is this little bitty thing? It's no bigger than my bait. Competition started. Qualifier number two, Sander Bagger Sea Lake. Yeah, I don't care. Maybe when I'm higher level, I'll care about your tournament, but right now I don't. In my striper? No. Oh, there's a little bitty tarpon.
Oh, I finally got something back there on the sticks. Ah, uh, so you're what lives back there on the sticks. If something lived there. I want to get something on this damn X-Series. Gigantic best. Dude. No, I will. Even though I can't possibly get it off the bottom because it's freaking two ounce, six up best jig. It's like trying to jig a boat anchor. Oh, what about the major popper? I don't know, that's it. It's freaking enormous. Of a customer. They're about the right size for this character. You know what I mean? You know, not this character. Plastic fishy. That's what I was looking for. No, that's a bump fish. What the hell, man? I don't know where the small term live.
Alright. Let's get this driver out of the way. Hey, the old popper that missed. It's a little bitty one. It's a little bit. You just gotta put one in a cooler and bring it from uh, Delta over here. What'd you take? Sorry, I was going to see what the hell my puppy was eating. Oh no, I was saying you should grab one from the adult and brought one in. In the cooler. I need to catch a butterfly peacock bass and a speckled peacock bass. Finish up the old Crab Island trial. There's everything too. Don't need another two. I believe picked up fast and I'll be back. Thank you, Chances. I'll take a little ride. Yeah, how do I get that? Uh, I go peek up back. Yeah. I want to take the far channel off. That's about where that hole is. Is that up yonder? Yeah. I want that hole. I don't see the marker when I get down there on the boat.
Christian. Yeah, I feel that bite my floaty throat. I kind of want to catch a crab. Crab? Yeah. There's a crab somewhere we can catch. I caught one. Oh, did you? No, not not like a bush crab, but an actual crab. Oh, you can like catch an crab. actual crab? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fair enough, this is Blue Crab Island. Makes sense. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it. No, oh, don't run away, Ben. I just hit it my frog and ran away. Could have been over so quick and easy. You're gonna make me work for it, aren't you? You're not a bass. There's kind of little boat thing that's off my plug. The peacock bass only. I didn't touch it. So, okay, there we go. Hit with the peak mission. Oh, very good. 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 Very good.
fucking fish jumped out of the water into my boat and escaped for low line tension. Sure, I got a 40 pound leader on this cooler rod, and it is red. It's gonna be a uni bass. Thanks, Skippy. Wow, good stats on that bad boy. thousand four hundred and thirty three XP and three thousand dollars for that little guy. The six seven ounce four off most me. Sorry, okay. Catch a drum in mud water. Oh, I gotta catch a striped bass, twenty two pound plus on a spoon. Time for your uh, blowing the dark spoons. That spoon is an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> Don't you have like a couple of them? No, I just got the one glow in the dark one that I bought, and it is garbage. You don't have any X series? Uh, no. I have a trophy spoon, and it's even more garbage. The trophy series are just utter crap. See if I can catch a couple more of these bass before I move on to striper fishing. What would be cool is if they uh, had like a boss lure where you had to catch a certain number of bosses to hit you a lure. And every catch with that, you get Bitcoin. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty cool. Not a whole bunch, but enough to where you could grind it out, you know, or get some Bitcoin that way. Yeah. When I first started playing this, you got a bait coin for every uni that you caught. That was the only way to get bait coins. Every unique you caught, you got a bait coin for it. And then they put bait coins in the shop and took away the fishing for them. But yeah, when I first started playing, that's why I had so much grinding on like the little uni sunfish and shit because I was sitting in freaking Mud River grinding unique Blue gill and shit for big coins. I think my first couple rods and reels I bought with bait coins by grinding out uniques. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because some of these reels are crazy expensive now at our level, bait coin wise. Yeah. Ooh, red leader. I think I caught the uni again. Oh, no. He just hit really hard. He's not even me. He's not even a... What the hell? You're not even a bass. Get off my bass plug. This, uh... Lure I'm catching all this stuff with. This major popper is uh, the one I got from the mission a little bit ago. 
for catching all the different uh, fish here. Yeah, DJ, come on. I am, uh, here, I'll show you when I pop this. We got rules. Got to leave me a follow on the Twitch. Here's my name in the game. Games with Kaya underscore TTV. Just add me as a friend and come on. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate the follow. And it, uh, again, that's uh, Games with Kaya underscore TTV. Once you get in game. I'm uh, piddling around in Blue Crab right now, just uh, doing the little missions to catch all the different fish. I'm pretty well done now. I got a, I've got to catch a 22 pound plus striper on a spoon. That's going to be a, that's going to be a chore. Just got the uni bass out of here now. I'm uh, just piddling around a little bit. Oh shit, my net's full. I guess I'm done fiddling around. Am I going to catch a striper? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's why we came here. We're not actually high enough level to come here. But they had that fishing tournament we could sign up for. That comes with a pass. So we signed up for the tournament just so we could come here and grind XP. <laughs> kind of dirty, but it works. All right, so um, I need to move. Let me go here. And I'll go back to boat oh, dock. I'm gonna farm this boat basin behind the dock. See if I can catch that big striker on a spoon. That's gonna suck. Say it with me. It's gonna suck. I know there's a uni striper loose in this hole, though. But it might be a night feeder. Let me throw this popper in here once before I change to the spoon. Hooked up something right away. Common snow. Oh shit, I forgot to uh change time. Empty my net. So do I wanna fish this guy at night or daytime for this striker? Let's try night first. We can always change it back to day if it doesn't do any good. Oh, fuck. That doesn't, uh, that didn't empty my net, though. There we go. Oh, um. And you are printed up. Gav91. Nubs is down in the tarpon hole. Grinding. And I'm just playing. I can't remember if we're in a friends only room. I think we're in a friends only room. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, I gotta catch striper on the spoon. How in God's name am I gonna do that? Yeah, that's very good. I should use that glow in the dark spoon because it needs to be redeemed before I intentionally get it snagged somewhere and break it off just to get rid of it. I don't think I've ever actually caught a fish on it. Nubs is going to get company. You have a favorite spot out here, Gab? Yeah, yeah. That is a hell of a spot. Well, I'm sure feeling anything interested in this button. All right, and I put on the stupid bow in the dark. Just so I can say I did. this thing was. Oh, oh my. First cast with the second cast with the damn glow in the dark spoon I hooked up. I might have yeah. to talk I might have to stop talking shit about that thing if I get my fix. No, don't run at me, whatever you are, stop. As long as I hear nub told you so, you know. <laughs> Yeah, shit. I think I got my fish first catch. No, it's a snook. With the glow in the dark spin. Well, 
what is so far nearly the most useless looter in the damn game. Besides the trophy shoes. Started. And small. He's small, but he's nice. No less of a fight, though. That's why they're nice. You can just winch them right in. No, it's still the same fight. Oh, really? Fight. As yeah. the 129 was? That yep. Sucks. I think this is the place I got the X series glow and hollow casting spoon for uh, at day thirty. Really? Really? Art artificially boost your time up. Let me let me double check that for you. I think you're right. I remember you saying that actually. Do you stay a full thirty days? For that? No, art artificially just changed time. Yeah, but I mean, 30 days work? Yep. I mean, I was here for 15, I think. So I just boosted another 15. Have to do some serious farming to pay for this afterwards. Quit screwing around and actually get to catching some fish. But if it's going to give me an X series spoon that I can use, I'm going to go for it. Yep, they give you 10 of them. Nice. And five, uh, five coin. Hi there. Little rooms, what's up? How's it going? Oh, and they're glow in the dark too. X series glow and hollow casting spoon. One ounce, four up. Nice. Doing all right. Trying to catch a 22 plus pound. Striped bass on a spoon. 
so far it has not been a big joy. I just got some new X series spoons, so let's see if they like those. Come fish with us. I think we got some room. Show me how it's done. Uh, I feel you. I'm not high enough level to be here myself yet, but we joined a tournament that gave a free pass to this place just so we could come grind some XP that's higher than us. I've got like a 10 day pass to grind enough XP to be able to come here normally. <laughs> One, not that good. Um, two, not, I, I don't know. Um, we've really only played, what, the last two weeks off and on? I've had the game for years, and I used to play years ago, but it was a lot different then. It doesn't take too horribly long. Have you fishing in the daytime? Yeah, sturgeon farming is fantastic money and experience, but oh my god, does it get boring after a while. You're still fishing at night, right, Nubs? Yeah. my prime fishing time. What the hell am I doing? Go right to the sweet spot and try again. Ooh. That hit hard. I'd say he's trophy size. If he's a striker, I have my doubts about that. But 
<clears throat> you stretching my little leader to the limit and leaving. Not I got a tarpon. Oh no 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 no! no. Don't you get up on me? I think that's a tarp instead of a striper. Yeah, <laughs> nice. That's the first steps. Where are you fishing at? You said you're new, so you're at what? Uh, Lone Star Lake? Here's the first fish on the uh, X series spoon, 41.5 pound tarpon. I can. Um, let me ask you a question first. Are you uh, determined to do it the hard way, or do you? Uh, Mind a somewhat cheaty little map that shows you where to fish for particular fish you're after. I will link it to you. And you can use it if you choose. I mean, you still got to figure out how to catch them, but it'll show you the spots for the different kinds of fish. Pretty nice. You're, where are you at? You should, you're at a... You're level five, so you're at Lone Star Lake. Let me, uh, let's do this. You can, but you don't have to, what I'm saying. This, I'm going to link this in the Twitch. Or, actually, anyway. That link opens up the fish, the bite map. If you go on there... You hit the place tab at the top and then you scroll down and you pick your lake. That's already defaulted to Lone Star. And then you click on the bite map button, which is down a little bit. And it gives you some drop down boxes. You like you can pick what type of fish you're after and it'll show you where in the lake they've been reported as being caught. It just helps you find good fishing holes. It ain't gonna catch them for you, but It'll help you help you find good spots. That doesn't show all the fish by any means, just what users of the map have reported. So you can find nice spots that aren't showed on the map at all. But it's a good place to start. Like, I'm using it to try to track down this trophy striper, but I ain't having any damn luck getting him. But yeah, you change that drop down box to the fish type you're after, and it'll put the icons for that particular fish on the map. And you can click on the icons and you can see what time of day it was caught, what size hook, what bait. Just don't think that's the only way to catch that fish. That's just how that guy happened to catch it and report it. Nice drum there, Jeff.
you're probably better off staying at Lone Star for a while. It gets expensive to buy a new license and travel. So you're probably better off to find a fish there that you can catch pretty consistently that gives you a, a decent amount of money and XP and just farm it a little bit until you can't stand it anymore and then move on. I could say at Lone Star, if you go down to that uh, little boardwalk that goes across the end of the lake, and you fish around the weeds there off that boardwalk, you should be able to catch uh, bass, small bass and stuff in there. And they're probably pretty good money in XP. Uh, PC. I'm not entirely sure what you have available at that level. I don't remember. Um, small minnows are really good if you can get those. But just about any kind of insect bait will work on the smaller fish. I definitely have to set this rod as a preset. What do you mean? The one that I, the 50 pounder? Yeah. Just so well balanced, it's nice. You got bread, red worms, cheese, pearl barley dough balls. I would go with the red worms, personally. Um... Most of that other stuff's for carp or buffalo. There is buffalo in that lake. I don't remember if they're good XP or not. Probably are. But I think your red worms, you'll catch a wide variety of stuff. Do you still just have the one pole? Or do you have a, uh, I assume you have like a telescoping rod with a bobber. Do you have any kind of lure pole? I don't know what I caught, but I'm pretty sure it ain't a striper. Come on, man. Catching drum on my spoon. At least the X-Series spoon does catch stuff. Kitchen snook and drum. Oop, and just hit something. That might be my fish. Oh, that's a snook. Radio sunfish, yeah, that's a nice little fish. 
if you uh open your inventory and look at your missions tab you probably have a a mission to catch particular kinds of fish there and that'll give you extra money and experience for completing that I wonder if I can cheese this like I cheesed the uh, monster quest. I discovered something about catching the monster fish. You know, it tells you you have to catch it on a, you know, a float rod sometimes. But you don't. As long as you equip your float rod with the right hook and bait, you can catch him on your bottom rod as long as you have your float rod equipped the correct way. You don't have to actually catch him on that one. wonder if I can uh, throw some bait out there and just, as long as I have this rod equipped correctly. So I have to have it in my hand or have to have it on a rod of it? You just have to have it in the water. doesn't matter. Like when I had to catch that monster trout at Moose Lake, I just baited up the float rod you have to catch him on which was way too small to catch him and i just cast it right next to the bank at my feet and put it on the rod holder and then caught the fish on my bottom rods and it still counted let's see yeah see i changed over to my bait rod and my quest didn't change it doesn't say swap you know equip your spoon so i probably can choose it that's not good to know Gotta find out. Let me go back here to the drum hole where I happen to know that a uni striper lives. See if we can't do some catching. You can't catch the golden tail shiner and the black tail shiner. All right, shiners are going to be shallow water next to weeds. Um, what did you say you had for baits? Uh, let me scroll up a look. You said you have... I would try the dough balls um, and fish shallow water near some weeds. You should catch the shiners. Uh, um, you either buy it from the shop, which you probably can't do while you're at the lake, or you get them in a pack. Um, go to your, you're going to go to your shop, go to tools and equipment and down here to rod stands, but you probably won't see them while you're at the lake. You probably have to leave the lake to see them. And that stuff's expensive. And you got to be certain levels. <clears throat> the rod stand? Um, number nine button. Zero is empty your hands, nine is place your rod stand. 
and then uh, to put your pole on the rod stand you hold down shift and hit a number for which slot since you're only going to have one rod holder it'll just be sh hold down shift and hit one put it in slot one on the rod holder same way to pick it back up shift one to grab it you can look right at it and manipulate them that way but I find it easier just to hit shift Hello, Bofin. And if I disappear suddenly on you guys, we're having some pretty gnarly thunderstorms. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if my power went out. You knocking on some wood over there? I got my feet on my wooden desk. Does that count? I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> They'll call on this thing a wooden desk as an insult to wood. It's disintegrating chipboard is what it is. Come on, big old striper. You know you want this. I was about to say it's killing me watching you guys catch these unis while I'm trying to get this bass, but then I saw what uni you got and I, I don't feel as bad. <laughs> I know I hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's just winching them in over there. Yeah, he has a little rod that wants a 55. Very nice. Keep them coming. Fill the old net. Change the next day and do it again. I need to buy lines, leaders, three reels, two rods. Well, you should be over a million bucks now, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you'll, I've got, you'll be I fun. have close to 300,000 or 400,000 in bait. <laughs> I don't know what I spent on bait, but it's a fair amount. Nothing near that. I might have spent ten grand on bait before I came here. And I'm fishing with a lure. I didn't go crazy on bait. I got 170 crawfish, 175 duck mussel. 300 large cut bait. It's like that. Hundred and ten pounds. You didn't catch a hundred and ten pound fish. You mean your net holds a hundred and ten pounds? If you're catching 110 pound fish at level five, I'm doing this wrong. One point ten pounds, maybe. At Lone Star Lake? I don't think so. 
You lost your mind. I think like 17 pound uni buffalo is the max. Come here and catch one. This damn striper's pissing me off. I still haven't decided if I should be fishing for him at day or night. I've got three baits in the uni striper hole and not even getting a nibble, not even redfish. What the hell? I'm off peak, but not by much. What's the matter you? That does happen. Um... You can increase your drag, but you have to be careful you don't increase it so much that it breaks your line. Your plus and minus keys raises and lowers your drag tension, but if you raise it too much, you'll just break your stuff. But if you get a big fish, it can take a, they will get tired after a while and come in. You just have to keep at them. So, so sad. What's, what's so sad? I just lost a uni part. You know on the left side how it's that thick brush? Yeah. At 60 foot I hit it. And it took from 60 to, to me. It was low tension. And right when it got to 8, it just lost it. Oh, that's it. Uh, how do you equip a spinner or a spoon? You pop open your inventory. You go to a rod that can have a spinner or a spoon. Go down to these little happy tabs. And you just drag it on there. But it has to be, you know, a casting type rod. Can I change locations to auto pick up my rods? I can. White crappie. Nice. And I, for extra money and XP, you look for the trophy versions or unique versions of those fish.
14 pounds, Sharper. Not big enough. And he's his big brother. Well, where you get them is the trick. That's where that little map comes in that I linked you. You can select the type of fish to type you after, like that crappie. And uh, the white icons on the map will show the regular ones, and the green icons will show where they caught trophies. And the yellow icons will show where they've caught uniques. And you can try near those places and see if you can get them. The beepings. Insanity beeping rod holders. Not beeping now. Oh, <laughs> bug fish, <laughs> winchity man. Yeah, nice. I accidentally caught a unique trying to catch a striper. You should have seen me battling that thing, Nubs. I set the hook and he bugged out and just drifted all the way to me. Is there a way to find out um, coordinates of a fish you've caught before? No, I don't believe so. If you didn't save a marker when you caught him, then I think you're shit out of luck. Currently, I only post streams. I don't edit any videos yet. I don't. I haven't learned how. And I'm not sure I have the patience for it. I would love someone to come along and edit some of my videos into actual watchable content, but... Not something you find many volunteers for. One day, I will make actual videos, probably. Maybe.
but currently all the live stream are on I stream to both uh, YouTube and Twitch at the same time so these videos stay on Twitch I think for 10 days but they stay on YouTube forever It wouldn't hurt my feelings any. It wouldn't hurt my feelings any at all. You might actually be one of my first uh, YouTube viewers that's even commented and talked in the channel. Most of my audience is on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Usually, most people watch me on Twitch. Uh, I don't see a lot on uh, from YouTube yet. I haven't been doing that very long. Started using Restream recently to stream to both. That's uh striper's playing hard to get. Um, scroll down a little bit just uh, below the, the top you scroll down you should see some buttons um, one of them says like uh, I don't remember one of them says bite map Yeah, just, just below the, the top. It should say jump to fish licenses, bite chart, bite map, Uber sheet. If you click on that bite map, it just scrolls you down the bottom where there's a map. And just above the map is some drop down boxes. One of them says fish. Or there's a, a type. You can change it to type and just select trophy and it'll just show trophy fish. But it's the bite map you're looking for.
want to take these shiners off all together. I'm not catching anything on shiners. Everything's on cut bait. Easily the same thing you use to catch the regular version. And if you're catching a, a normal one on red worms, you'll catch the trophy one on red worms too. They tend to be a little more particular about where exactly you fish, but there shouldn't be much difference between normal and trophy. Uniques are often picky about what time it is and weather and shit like that, but trophies not so much. Like that. I just got a trophy black drum. Not even trying for drum or trophies. For that matter, I'm not trying for drum. Unfortunately, a lot of fish eat the same kind of bait here, so. They're all over this cut bait. They're not touching the shiners. Don't seem to say these stripers. Maybe I'll give them a smorgasbord. I don't have any of the other baits they like. Sea worms, large cut bait I got, shiners I got, sardines, mullets, crab, and sand fleas I don't even think I can buy. I have no idea. I don't even look.
But these rods haven't got a bite since I threw them out there. So I'm going to take these shiners off. I'm going to put cut bait on two of them. I'll leave a shiner on the third. Twenty-two point three pound trophy strike bass. He did not count. You, it didn't count. He did not count because I caught him on the bottom rod, not the spin. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It is. That works on the monsters. Apparently, it don't work on the spoon. Spoon hunt. Yeah, I caught your fish. You keep him down there in your fishing hole. I don't want it. Somebody's watching you. Okay. Watching me, watching you. <laughs> Taking a boat. We're going for a boat ride. What the hell, man? Oh, I'm chitting the wrong button. That's, that'll do it.
Coming at you, nubs. I haven't lately, but yes, I have fished in real life for 50 years. What's that? Almost off the tarpon. Oh. And in real life, my boat's bigger than this one. Not a hell of a lot bigger, but bigger. I'm gonna come stare at you and fish. What's up? I, I see you Just, over there. Uh, gonna let you know the Discovery Channel's not that great. <laughs> I parked a little close. Just a little bit. I didn't mean to park this close. You should see where I'm parked. Get your fish out of my boat. <laughs> Want me to club him for you? I'm trying to send you the catfish. <laughs> Sorry, I just cast my lure right by your feet and hung up on a stick or something. No, it's not me stepping on it. I got a stick. You can keep your sticks. It's not 11.7. <laughs> Therefore, it's not mine. Ooh. Damn, he hit hard. Not only what he was, but... He punched that spoon hard. I think that's a permit. He's not making my leader happy, I know that. Dang. He wasn't very big for as hard as he hit.
Incoming spell. I have fished all over the United States. Most time spent in uh, around Lake Okeechobee in Florida, the Keys, uh, Northern California up in the trout and salmon streams, and on the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. That's where I've done most of my time. But I have fished all over the place. Am I from Texas? I am not. I have lived there. I was actually born in Florida. Lived there when I was little. Lived in Texas for a little while. In Arkansas. In California. In Oregon. Colorado, Maryland, Florida, Georgia, <laughs> all over the damn place. I wish I got some money. There's supposed to be some trophy striper to live out here in front of you. Oh, yeah. Don't appear interested in my spoon. I might try it at night. I'm fishing daytime right now. It's just about to turn night on its own on a few minutes. Got a customer. Fishing. All right, let me get this fish in. I'll come give you a help. I ain't seen this fish yet. I don't know what I caught. What do I got, Nubs? He's swimming over by you. Oh, never mind, he turned around and went the other way. I see fins. It must be a drum. Ding. 51. Damn, look at you go. I didn't even hit 50 yet. Girl. I'll go see what my sister needs up here. Okay, okay.
I'm doing this as well as the farm. I'm level headed even more now. Ugh. I'm back. Level 51 being. Ain't right. Hit you with my spoon. Welcome back. I'm gonna go chop up some pork for Rue. She's having a little trouble with her knee. Couldn't stand in front of the cutting board. She said she might come fish with us and she's done making dinner. Well, she can't come here, but fish somewhere. Probably St. Croix or she might go back to catfish all along. Wow, that was an awful guess. You need to quit farming that shit. Catch a trophy bass on a spoon and show me how it's done. Oh, this place is kind of weird. You can catch a trophy striker on a spoon all day long over San Joaquin Delta. They're just not fucking interested here. Can I put a big piece of cut bait on my spoon and just throw it out there on the bottom? Not so, but ain't nobody here. I can tell the kids check my mail. Mailbox is wide open. I may have to concede defeat and go to YouTube for tips on catching this striper on a spoon. Yeah, I have no idea. Tried several different locations, several different spoons. Tried day, tried night. Not having any love.
I got level number 53 on the leaderboard for Unique Strike. Nice. At the Delta. And the funny part is, I was sturdent. <laughs> I got around to actually putting a marker in where they were catching the fish down here, which I thought was right in front of you. Not even close. It's the next one. Alright. I need to despise strikers just from this mission alone. Oh, you go to Delta, you go catch them all the time. Yeah, it's easy there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave to repair my rods. <laughs> Shit, all broke now, huh? Oh, okay. Are you a striker? You are not a striker. Okay, how are you? Go. Let's get a drop. Wait, that might be a striker. That's a striker. He's a lumper. I forgot him. Oh, you gotta use the spoon. Never mind. 
Can't tell if it's a striper or a drum. It's a striper, it's a big boy. Was that a striper? None of the above. It was a unique snook. Uh. On my spoon. Advanced Louisiana license is about good spot. See ya. The rug racks have departed. My home is once again peaceful. All right, Lil. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Um, we fish most days, not every day, but we fish most days for at least a little bit in between other things. Well, I stream pretty much every day. Uh, here lately we've been doing some Diablo 4 and some uh, 7 Days to Die. So I'm not entirely sure when I'll be streaming fishing again, but it's, uh, it's usually pretty regular. Alright, man. We'll see you next time, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow today. I appreciate it. But I stream pretty much every day. I just can't catch this fish. It's so twitchy, son.
Egg. Hey, I got your fish here. Hello. No, no, not yours. Hello. Hey, Nub. How you doing today? Good. You back? Just been grinding out these fish. <laughs> Change your mind? Said you need to fish some more? Well, I got rid of the boys. No, no, I can not actually you. concentrate on something. And dinner's cooking. A little decided he's gonna hang out some more. It'd what do you call it around here? You know, most people have brunch. We have dinner. Dinner, lunch, and dinner mix. We just call it supper. Yeah. We just call every meal supper, and that uh, that makes it easy. You don't have to worry about what time it is. <laughs> second lunch. We'd miss the first lunch. <laughs> I had lunch. I ate two of Justin's frozen uh, corn dogs. Or was that breakfast? Might have been breakfast now that I think about it. No, breakfast we had uh, hash browns, sort of. What do you that's call what, them? Tater that's, tots. That's when I had the corn dogs, too. So. Oh, well, I, I ate the, my six pieces of chicken I had left. Ah. Yeah, I already paid for those this morning. Yeah, I was on fire again. <laughs> but them suckers are good. Have you ever tried them crystal hot wings, notes? No, I don't have one around us. They're oh, that's delicious. right. Crystals is a southern thing, isn't it? They are you delicious. Guys have white castles. Hmm. Oh. Makes me wonder. White castles had similar hot wings. It's white castles and crystals are basically the same damn thing. I don't know. They don't have white. Don't have chicken wings. Yeah. Crystals does, and they are freaking smoking hot, but they're so good. Yep. And I'm I'm not a big fan of hot. I like flavor, but that's the thing. These have flavor. They got the heat, but they got flavor. Yeah, but it's it's like a white pepper hot not a red pepper hot it doesn't stick to you you know it doesn't yeah. burn oh. for 10 minutes after you eat i don't know but my mouth was still on fire <laughs> I, I got up this morning and went pee and my pee burned <laughs> that's not a good sign <laughs> <laughs> you're like damn them hot wings are good but jesus you pay for them <laughs> every orifice hey. burns in the morning I looked up a recipe this morning just for fun, and they exist. You know, yeah. I had those two bananas going bad. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to make banana bread, but they have banana cookies. Banana cookies. Yeah, they put chocolate chips in them. Banana chocolate chip cookies. Sounds like the ideal diabetic food. Maybe get some unsweet chocolate chips. Uh, yep, unsweet chocolate chips, and they make uh, stevia brown sugar for baking. Huh? Tackle was taken out of the water before fish was hooked. That fucking striper almost jumped in my boat to get that lure, but he was a little too late. <laughs> hey, look, I found a permit. Oh, um, at night? I'm sorry. Yep. I I think I can come to that lake with you guys. I just couldn't do it yesterday because the tournament was running. No, I don't. Unless you got a permit out of one of your packs, you can't come here. Yeah. Remember, we looked yesterday and I had it. I just, it just wouldn't let me go because of the tournament. I missed the tournament time. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't That's think That's so. what it was. I missed joining the tournament. Yeah, that was the only way we could get here was joining the tournament. I think you got to be, what, was it 54? Blue crab, right? Yeah. You unlocked St. Croix yesterday. Yeah. But I could go there anyways because of my licenses. Yeah, but now you can go there even well.
You can do the old Delta Sturgeon farm. You gotta get it to where you can go to that one without a permit. Which one? The oh, Delta the one San Joaquin, yeah. She's closed. I don't remember what level it is. They wouldn't play with her today because they were busy. Who's that? Gracie and the boys. Uh -oh. They wouldn't play with her today because they were busy. And she was kind of sad about that. They were in my room and I ran them out of here for a little privacy for a minute. And I told them they could come back, but they were so busy out there, I don't think they heard me. So I just left them be. <laughs> they sat on the couch talking quietly and playing their games, and it was amazing. Oh, yeah. I might have came in here and whacked you on the head if you'd have bothered them. <laughs> Well, they were sitting on the bed quietly. <laughs> the first time they've been here where it wasn't endless screaming. Kyle, what's up, man? This fish is breaking my heart. Hurt my knee today, Nana. Um, yeah. Why'd you do that for? I don't know. So I made Ed come in the kitchen and help me with lunch so I could sit down faster. Yeah. Yeah, still not high enough level to be here, but uh cheated a little. Entered their uh, boat tournament and they gave you a ten day pass. We're not participating in the tournament, but we're using the pass to farm here. Why aren't you participating? Possible you might win something. I didn't really care about the tournament, honestly. Not yet. Later on, probably. I'll get in the next one. I even put a bobbin post out there, or a bobbin out there by the post. Then it drifted away, though. Oh, I forgot that it changed the time. Ooh, but I got a bite. Oh, two bites, of course. I don't like this At word. the same time. That's the way it goes. My narrow spoon I have. Is... Kind of the way you want it, though. I bet a single spoon. Rolling in awful easy. It's a piece of junk, but try it. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything on it, but we'll give it a throw. The other one got off. I hooked I hooked him, but Ed's got me using these stupid barbless hooks. You can take them off. You just have to catch twice as many fish to level up. But you're you're a grown ass woman, you can do whatever the hell you want. Boy, my grown ass. 
Must be nap time. Both dogs are sacked out. You go to the Congo Bucks, Congo for 30 bucks, not 40. Is it on sale or something? No, it was 40. Last time I looked, it was 40. Reel them in and change the time. Unless it's on sale because of the boating. All the wild Africa pack gives you a pass for it. Uh, but does it give you the gear to be able to catch them big old fish? I think the only difference the wild Africa what doesn't give you the boat, does it? The Congo boat. They give you a lure rod, 97 pounds. Ah, uh, big ass lure rod. Hi, Kyle. I'm the annoying sister. <laughs> the 300 pound, well, 925 pound net, which is the same, I think. 900 pound net? Oh, that'd be pretty, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. And you get seven day pass plus license. So I'm doing okay with my, uh, my 330 pound net. 330? Buddy, the catfish pack, that comes with a 551 pound net, sis. Oh, did it? It did. I didn't look at the other stuff, honestly. Yeah, you got, you got tackle box and uh oh. hat and jacket and maybe a rod holder and a net i might have to swap things around but after i catch another net full of fish whoop i just put that one down it's ringing yeah because that comes with the same net that i'm using which is a max 165 pound and a total of 551 Jackdaw sent me this pack. Nice. Jack's a sweetheart anyways. Yeah, he's a good guy. I don't think I've gone fishing with him since. Yeah. He likes to talk about fishing. I think he fishes on his own when we're not around. <laughs> They're put up with us. <laughs> But just he had to come back to really low areas to fish with us. He's a he's level twenty billion. Yeah, he can fish fish that give him thirty two thousand per. Yeah. Oh, he showed me that one fish. It was I don't remember how much money it was, but it was close to a hundred grand, and it was like a hundred and twenty four thousand experience. It was one fish. I would have leveled up three times off that fish. <laughs> All I'm catching is carp. Hi, Samus. What are you doing, sweetie? Oh, yeah, I know. The little rugrats are gone. Now you have to come bother me. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I think I got a big boy now. <laughs> My rod was bending in half. Of course, uh, all at once. I was listening to this guy fishing. He's like, oh, my rod's bending. <laughs> like, hold on there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an 11.7 pound rod. It's like, I got two rods. It's back to back. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> 
It's getting a little too excited. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No sword fighting allowed. <laughs> Crap. What is going on here? Then I heard some uh, some traitor words. He said, forget the sturgeon. <laughs> Who said no? He was going for ba for the bass. He said, forget the sturgeon. I lost mm -hmm. one. The bass are more fun, but the sturgeon are definitely more profitable. All right, just for the hell of it, I'm going to throw out my metal because I'm fucking sick of these fish. Look at all the fish rolling behind my boat. Who knew there was a spot out there? That many fish rolling, there's got to be a uni loose there. Can I keep this spinning off the bottom? Yay, oh. I got stirred. Slam. 663 XP and 3,100 bucks. This guy tried to break my leader. I don't approve. Pounds. I don't know what it is. It's got to be a drum. No one else out here that big, is there? That girl, yep. Oh, I lost it. Let's cast through this rolly stuff out here. See what's playing around out there. Mm -hmm. I want this little twitch. Here we go again. I hear the beepers and bells. What do you reckon lives out here? It's another carp. Okay. Nice snooker. Slam. I guess I'm going to find out what lives out there. Maybe. Come back this way, buddy. Is that a permit? Must be a permit. What, you can catch free permits, too? <laughs> yeah. Fish called a permit. Check him out. Look at the stream. Hold on a minute. I'm um, I'm a little busy. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's going to be a bit too. So. Yeah, I'll photo mode you. How do you actually take a picture with the stupid camera once you have it? I don't even know. <laughs> Did it tell you? No. I can orbit. I can dolly. I can center the camera. I can move the mouse. But how do you actually take a picture? Was taking pictures because he posted a one uh, or two. F12 screenshot. Okay, doesn't say that, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm trying to catch that fish, and then maybe I'll catch the stupid striper. They always seem to bite when you're not after them. If I keep screwing around there, I'm liable to catch a you. Uni permit and when hell I'm getting that in on this road. Are you gonna catch a unicorn? I hook him, but I doubt I'd catch him. Phone calls. I didn't miss them at all. Well, I want to know when they happened. Because I didn't hear any phone calls. Probably when you were in the kitchen. 25 minutes ago and 26 minutes ago. Yep, you were in the kitchen. I had my phone in the kitchen. I don't know what to tell you about that. 
Yeah, they were spam. Hey, I'm Kim. Well, good for you, Kim. <laughs> All right. I bet you're not. You might want to bring your bowl because I'm pretty sure you're probably good. It's about to turn night time. I'll try all this again at night. And it is now officially nighttime. Cool air came behind that thunderstorm today. That feels good in here now. I think they like this yellow spoon. Still one of my favorites. back there. I don't know what it tastes like, but it smells darn good. <laughs> and I'm waiting on you like one pig waits on another. I bet you are. <laughs> Get out some arts and crafty stuff. Play with them. I used to teach art to elementary school students a long time ago. Let me. <clears throat> I have no arts and crafty bone in my body. Wow. 
It runs in our blood. Not mine. It skipped my ass. <laughs> you got it. I got the mechanical side. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, uh... there, there ain't a machine that I can't fix before my body betrayed me anyways. I always liked mechanics. And if garages look like they back then look like they do these days, you know, the ones on TV, then I might have tried it. <laughs> I'm going to hop on for about an hour and a half to cook. Fine, fuck off. Leave us. Okay. All right, buddy. Gonna be AFK that long to cook? Where are you going? Texas? I gotta cook Danny. So Shit. you don't do like us, huh? Come sit at the computer and eat? You know, you know he's gonna go get Grandma to cook dinner. <laughs> well, he has beer with Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> And then he comes back and we log off and he goes, why did everybody leave? <laughs> I was only gone for seven hours. <laughs> what? See you. Alright, buddy. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Cook well. That's it. I'm over it. I officially hate this damn fish. What fish is that? I'm gonna go get my food. I'll be right back. Don't catch them all while I'm gone. Another sturgeon, I think. Yay, forty six pound sturgeon. The one I just cast out? It is. I'm off in the kitchen and all I hear is beep, 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 coming out of your room. Yeah. And I was busy casting the last one. <laughs> you better go lay down. Be picking up bad habits from that other dog. 
I'll whack your nose. Well, I don't. And what is this to with you? I've already caught 145 pounds worth of fish. Nice. I didn't get the meat as tender as I wanted. You said the space bar reels in too? Mm hmm Oh, very good. Then I can use my other hand. Mm hmm So I can so we can eat. <laughs> I set my I set my uh roll of Copenhagen on the space bar so I can eat while it's reeling in my fish. Well there you go. <laughs> I don't have any room to set my bowl on the right hand side, so I have to set it on the left hand side. Coming in. New personal record, 52.4 pounds. Nice. I already got half a level since I've been here. That's a big damn sturgeon right there. Yeah, he's nice. That's my biggest fish. He beat out my catfish at 48 pounds. Boy, thought the fishing game was cool for about two seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they realized that it could go two seconds with nothing happening, they want that attention span. Yep. And I thought nubs was bad. Yeah. <laughs> nubs got the patience of a saint. Now, when it comes to fishing, yeah, he does. He, he should tell you in five minutes without a bite, he's moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but he can sit there and farm for freaking hours upon hours. I can't. I gotta move. I gotta do something. <laughs> it also explains why he's like two levels ahead of me now. Well, what? Why he's a couple levels ahead of me now. Oh. Yeah, because all that farming. I'm not good at farming. I'm trying to farm these sturgeon and I haven't got a bite in five minutes. Time to move. <laughs> the only saving grace is that 
I'm eating. <laughs> How's it going over there, Kyle? Are you catching any fish? No, chat has been kind of quiet. They must be catching something. Why does this fish hate me so much? I'm about to go buy that spoon I see other people catch anymore. If I did buy it, I don't even know if I can. Add it to my collection of spoons. But all sucked. Yeah. Do they sell anything here? I wonder. I wonder. Not a damn one. Four holes in the water. And nothing's happening. Can't really throw far enough. It's just real straight. Oh, I tried to get a left handed bite and I didn't. I'm getting better at eating left handed than this man. DGK420 is doing. How do you manage that? Am I not in a friend's only room? Are you a friend? Who are you? <laughs> I'm in a friend's only room all by myself. Who don't got no friends? Keep me from <laughs> keep people from standing on me. One striper. That's all I need. One damn striper. I guess I was in Dubs' friend only room. So when he left, I'm no longer in the private. Oh.
I threw one of my bobber poles over one of the sturgeon holes. I'm about to throw my lure pole over. Put it down about 60 inches. Apparently, they now made Steve Harvey a judge. You know, like one of them Judge Judy shows. Oh, jeez. what I did to my knee, but that some of them hurts. Took some cotton home, but it's not helping yet. How bullshit is this? I looked up a video of this quest to watch the guy catch this striper. Yeah. He didn't have to catch one here on his quest. Huh. Are you reading your quest right? Yep. Yeah, they updated quests at some point. How they're different. This one got added later. Hooked up, but that ain't no striper.
Got to get the big edge in here. Oh, you burnt my leader. Hot fishing for you. Get up. I'm not getting any bites. Dog on, better go check room now. This is also not a striker. I found a spoon to fish like. It's not the right fish. Is it a striker? No. It's a dark one. Sorry. None for either one of you. <clears throat> Might have got a dress this time. Oh, that's another damn turkey. Goes my bobbin taking off across the lake. <laughs> How heavy is your bobber, Paul? Are you going to be able to pull in a sturgeon if you catch one on that? I don't know, but it ain't a sturgeon, it's probably a carp. It was a bass, uh -oh. large mouth bass, almost two pounds. I knew he was lightweight. He was coming in too fast. Caught him on a number one hook with shiners. Ah. Let me look. One of these poles is heavier than the other. Which one's this one? 11 to 34 pounds. If you want to play with cart, they're, they're not awful there. What's my other one? Three to 13 pounds. No, nope, this is the bigger one. I can't change the lake. Can I? 
Oh, it don't matter. I'm just playing with sturgeon. But they aren't biting. I put my, uh, but I was busy eating, so I wasn't doing anything about it. <laughs> good. It was tasty, it just the meat was tough. I gave it 20 minutes in there. I didn't think it was bad at all. It, man, it was good. It didn't do anything bizarre to the rice this time. It was good. <laughs> if you did do anything bizarre, you kept it to a minimum. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't stand up long enough to do bizarre. <laughs> I like that gravy the other night. Yee, I don't know what you did to that, but it was awful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Which one is taking off this one? <laughs> yeah, I completely missed that again. fish. I was getting cute and totally missed the strike on my hoover. I can't even see my bobber. It's underwater. I might have caught a sturgeon on here. <laughs> you might be there for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's going out faster and it's coming in. Got me. That's one of my other poles. I might need to get on my boat if I can cast through around on sticks. This one's heavy, but I'm reeling it in. Put the other one on the rod stand for a minute. On that I can. <laughs> I got stuff on two poles. I think it's sturgeon on both of them. Well, I don't. I don't know. Could be. Could be a big bath on my float. Who knows? Well, got a striper finally, but and a trophy. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna twitch this thing across the bottom, see what happens. Oh, I lost one. The one I was pretty sure is a sturgeon is the one I lost. Mm. My bobbin pole. Forty-eight pounds, sturgeon. All right, I think I'm gonna go home now. Check out my other new stuff that I didn't check out. Yeah, like your new net. <laughs> yeah. Check out my rod holder and see how big that one is. I don't think you're right. I don't think you've got a rod over. Um, not, not the kind you, you know, put your bait rods on. Right. I meant the, uh, a sack. yeah, that lets you carry more rods and reels with you. Well, I got seven on this one. Oh, I think that's all you can get. Well, I only made seventeen thousand dollars on this trip, and you know, three thousand seven hundred XP. Gosh darn! Is it all? <laughs> Tracy's on the bed, and Samus is laying on the blankie. And I got three challenges. I made a total of $58,000 since I've been here, almost 59, and over 12,000 XP. Very nice. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Have I mentioned that I officially hate this fish? Out fish into I see two fins, that must be a drum, not my striper. That one only holds five rods. Hello, drum. The sun is blinding me.
551 pounds. There it is. Fish Citadel Large. Ooh. I think there was a vest that lets you carry more lines and tackle. So you can actually buy a better one in the shop, probably. Maybe not at your level, I'm not sure. One I have is better. My golden angler jacket holds 35 tackle and four lines. There you go. And check your hats and your yep. tackle box. I have a hat that carries a flashlight, but I don't have a flashlight yet, apparently. The only one I got is the one for staying. It's a hel helmet light for staying. Uh, I think that was the one for staying 30 days on Bunchkin Lake. I don't remember. And the one I got holds more tackle, so I'm just going to keep it on until I get a light. I don't worry about it. Or maybe this one was for catching a certain amount of fish at night. Maybe that's what it was. Catching a certain number of fish at night to get the flashlight helmet. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, this one already has the flashlight. Yeah, one of them has it built in. We might try it then. It's nice for some things. Other times I find myself turning it off so I can see the lights on my fish holder, my rod holder. Depends on the glare. Oh, striped bass, but he's not a trophy. At least I caught a friggin' striped bass. They do exist. Template. Oh, does that put the get on the rods for you? What? Templates. I have no idea what that is. I clicked on templates and it's got golden pack casting preset number two, bottom preset number one, spinning preset number three. It puts everything together for you? I don't know. That's what it looked like. That must have came with your golden pack or something, huh? Golden pack and world cap. Interesting. I don't know. Guess uh, if you're brave, you can click on it and find out, but it might mess up no. your setup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not that brave at the moment. That would have been good to know when we first got your golden pack. Yep. And I was like, I can't figure this shit out. Get nubs. Uh, <laughs> I did it myself this time. <laughs> or, yeah, with the cat pack. So I am advancing. 
You are indeed. have licenses for places I've never heard of. Hmm. Weeping Willow and You've got a Weeping Willow license? I've got a Sander Baggersy license. That one sucks. But Weeping Willow, that's where the big catfish are. I've got one for Actuba. Actuba's meh. Weeping Willow is where I want to go to fish. That's the uh, that's the big cats. I haven't been able. I can't go there. You want to go catch some big old catfish? That's where you go. Yeah, I can't go either. Sorry, I can go. It's two of them run together. I can uh, go to Ghent, Turnazel Tur Canal. Boring. And Sander Baggage Sea. It's not awful, but it's not terribly exciting either. I went there and did the missions, but I haven't, uh, I didn't hang out and fish. Uh -huh. I don't have a license for Nahirin, but I really need to go there and do some work. I suspect you can afford it. Yeah. I also have a license. Panic Creek in Alaska. That's the one you guys said you didn't even like, huh? Yeah, that's the salmon fishing. I'm not a fan. It was interesting, but yeah, not, overall I wasn't a big fan of it. Well, I might go just look at Gimp since I can go. I know what I'm gonna do though. I think I'm gonna break out. Then get it. My bed cave melted. I opened it up and it squirted everywhere. Opened up what? The bed day. Oh, how long? Well, since I used it, I think it melted because I opened it up and it just went everywhere. How, how long? Well, it's been a while. No, I meant you've been gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably after the second marriage. <laughs> or maybe it was the second date after the second marriage. <laughs> <laughs> he said, fuck it, gave up.
maybe that'll make you feel better. Fortunately, I was smart enough to remember to get out a plastic glove first. How many hours have I been trying to catch this goddamn fish? Justin must have went to the grocery store. He's not late yet. I asked him to pick up some more of them jumbo eggs. Hopefully he does. Yeah, because those things were freaking fantastic. Hopefully he doesn't go too overboard. He's still got bills to pay. Ethan now Buccaneer. Two fans got a drone. What are we after here? Brim, a roach, an eel, European flounder, a perch, an where did, hide. Where did you go? Pike, a goby, a mullet, fifth lift mullet, and a xander. Uh, yent. Oh, you went to the canal? Yeah. Good luck. Just fool around. <clears throat> you can wave to the Atlantica for me. What's the Atlantica? You'll see. <laughs> Or maybe it's the Pacifica. I don't know. I think it was the Atlantica. SMS tarp on to get a permit. What the actual fuck are you talking about, buddy? Speaking of permit, I think I just got a permit. I think my mouse is having issues today. It doesn't want to click. Left click. My eyes water. Both the girls got up and left. It was probably making their eyes water too. <laughs> <laughs> you gassing the puppies. <laughs> that darn been gay. That's the potent. It's gotta be at least a year old.
I'm gonna, I got my round holes on, on the holder, so I'm gonna get out my walker and try it out here. Did we ever show you how to use the bite map? Uh, bite map? I didn't know it was a bite map. Oh, Lord. Are you talking about that one with the link? Mm -hmm. It's on another site? Mm hmm. Yeah, I got that link. But do you know how to use it? It's a little yeah, weird. It's all the drop down boxes. Yep. Yeah, I've used it a couple times. You'll probably need it for that place. Just nothing, nothing is where you think it ought to be. At least it was that way for me. Maybe you'll have better luck. I'm just playing. And don't click keep on the eels. If, if you manage to catch yourself a European eel, it'll cost you $25,000 if you accidentally click keep. I heard a uh, joke about that today. About eels? One of those decorating shows, and the lady goes, oh, yes. You know, Johanna, uh, Joanna Gaines, she goes, oh, yes. We want to mix a European feel with the country feel. And uh, Chip goes, well... I think you missed it. He said they were talking about a fountain. He mm -hmm. goes, you, you need the boy a peeing, he said, for the European feel. <laughs> she said, for the what? You need the what? He said, for, you know, European. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost as bad as the ones on stream. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Get it. Get it, girls. Get it. Somebody nibbled on one of my poles. Wow. The advantage to being gay is not only will it make your muscle feel better, but it will clear your sinuses out as well. <laughs> I might come in there and thoroughly rub it into my hands. My hands hurt so much I can't hardly play this anymore. Come get some Tylenol. It'll help with that. And man, I'm not sure I should have ate that thing before I went to bed last night. Holy oh. crap, did I have some weird-ass dreams. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I woke up at one point and I laid there just going, what the fuck? <laughs> that was bizarre. Why? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> my, I don't need any help with weird dreams. I my, have them all the time anyways. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of them. Unless Gracie wakes me up or something. Wakes me up. But I know I yell at people in my sleep and stuff. There was some guy breaking into houses in my neighbor's house, and I was trying to warn them by yelling. <laughs> and I was having a hard time trying to yell, but I finally got it out. And next thing I know, Gracie's poking me in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sleep here. <laughs> I 
Samus was being weird last night. She kept stretching out and cuddling with me, and she never does that. She usually lays right at the foot of the bed. Well, that's funny, because she's, when she's in here, she cuddles. But, yeah, she, uh, she normally doesn't, because I encourage her not to, because she's a million damn degrees, and yep. I can't sleep with her freaking furnace body touching me. But I don't know if it got cold last night or something, because she kept cuddling up to me. Well, it's supposed to drop down to 59. I don't call that cold. I call that perfect. I left the fan down on the floor last night until I woke up about 2.30 or so, and it was a little stuffy in here, so I got up and put the fan back in the window. Well, I had both fans on high blowing right on the bed. It might have got chilly for her. And I think I was thrashing around. I woke up at one point, and she was sleeping in the Lazy Boy. And I sat up and looked around to see where she was. And as soon as I sat up, she jumped back on the bed. Yeah, on my leg. Right here. I, I wouldn't advise getting it on you, though. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't advise getting it on you. It's not pleasant. <laughs> she took one whiff of that of my leg and backed up. <laughs> <laughs> She's curious. You know, curiosity killed the cat, right? Seems like it's a cat, so what? The fishing should just keep getting better and better till dark. But, uh, pretty lame already. Samus don't like it either. That's got to be pretty hard I, on their noses. That's the first time I ever seen her sniff something and not want to lick it. Come oh, on. That's potent stuff, ain't it? <laughs> Tracy decided I wasn't going to share food, so she left. But at least pretend to bite. Lots of holes, anyways, going after brim and stuff. next to grass and there's no grass over here. Yeah, I'm getting bombed by a pipeline. Change time when I change the time. Uh. All right, a sewage pipe right next to where you <laughs> fish it. Give it a little extra flavor.
kind of remember twice with some more small pet bait. I hate that it takes your bait off when you change hook. Yeah, sometimes it does. Oh, what a little funny thing. I got a European birch. Oh, nice. He's not even half a pound. <laughs> Hi, Gracie. I gotta go put some crunchies in the bin. That's what it is. No. I forgot this morning. I looked at it and there was hardly any crunchies. Is that what it is? Yeah, I didn't even think to look today. The kids or the dogs? Find them yeah, I don't know where the hell they go. <laughs> Probably buried up in Justin's room with the other broom. Oh, please. Was... Like Justin uses a dustpan. Come on. Well, there is a broom <laughs> missing, too. This is in your room. <laughs> don't think so. Oh, thank God I finally caught this god dang fish I've been after all day long. Got myself a trophy walker lure. Nice. 
nice. I like that walker. And some trophy four oh zero two four line. Ten thousand XP, nine thousand six hundred dollars, three bait coins, some line and a lure. I don't know why they gave me a trophy walker for a spoon hunt lure. Where I had to catch all these fish on a spoon, then they give me a walker. Maybe it's because it's like, you've done it the hard way. Here's the right lure. Throw some maggots out there. Half ounce, three odd. Half ounce. I can't even throw that on my rod I use here. That, I guess I ought to go do some farming now and, uh, Make some money. Some XP. That's for now. catfishing and carping mostly. I'm going to change up to a new friends only room. If somebody's in my fishing spot. How many shiners do I got? 220? We'll use shiners. We'll use... Whoa! We'll use large cup. What the heck was that? Huh. Hmm. Somebody just blew a foghorn. Oh! That would be the Pacifica coming through for Atlantica or whatever the hell name of it is. See anything yet? Oh, there it is. I see something? <laughs> yeah, you won't miss it. Wheel? No. 
Big old freaking cargo ship. <laughs> hey, there's a, a sponsored competition going on. Catfish at the Chicken Lake. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something you might enjoy. I'm getting, getting rigged up for the farming spot. If I could get my shit together. How do you put a cannoli shell on a pizza? What the hell are you talking about? That's there. They have to use a cannoli shell for a pizza ingredient. Yeah. And espresso powder. No lift, especially nighttime. And fishing is shit. Perfect. But I can't change my time, right? For a little while. I'm impressed. Fishing here so far. So how are you folks doing on stream? Y'all catching anything? Are you just watching? Doing some fishing? You know, uh... Welcome to come fish with me if you can come here. If you're a computer, anyways. Let me do a fast pickup on my rods by getting in the boat. Getting out of the boat. That picks up all the rods automatically. I can be lazy. <laughs> that does sound lazy. Mm. Probably about time for Nubs to, Nubs to come back, so it's time for me to leave. Yeah, you better get ready to go. Yep. Try out this X series glow in the dark spoon here. See what happens. Just pull it straight. Nothing fancy. Except it's too fast. I drop the speed. Then it's gonna sink. Would be right between real speeds. I do believe two or times over. Uh oh. Because we got. Here I roll away for a second. It's going off. Only I could see which one it is. Might be mine beeping. No, you might I be listening to my beeping for a change. I can't hear yours. Hmm. I think I got the right pole now. Bottom pole. I 
I got a trophy tarpon, a trophy gaff top sail catfish, and a trophy common snook. <laughs> all three rods were beeping, and I got a trophy on all three. Yeah, you guys better be watching for Justin. Yep, he's definitely late now, so he's uh, grocery shopping. What the hell with all that jingle jangling and no fish? Got a fish that time. See, I told you it was time for notes to come back. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I told Ed just now. I said I'm probably gonna have to get out of this chair for a while. I said, so it must be time for notes to come back. <laughs> 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 <A thing. laughs> Caught that bass a minute ago, finally. A striper on a spoon. Dustin nice. The girls are busy doing something. Oh, that's me. Took your spot too, didn't I? They kicked me all the way to the boat dock. Uh, it knew I was in your spot. I'm just gonna leave and go get that better boat. Better boat. The Congo boat? No. They have good boats. Oh shit, my net's full. Uh -huh. It is
Oh, mercy. Thank you, kind sir. I hear some frantic beeping. <laughs> beeping and jingle jangling. No. I only had one left out there. All that noise, and it was just a tiny little brim. But I got another one off my list. I need a goby, a roach, and an eye. Never even heard of an eye. I don't know either. <laughs> It was not so nice. Not today. Nubs <laughs> did it. All right, guys. Good luck fishing. I'll catch you later. All right, sis. Catch you later.
I'm able to upgrade one of the uh, the cat rods. One of the what? One of the, the rods we got from that. Oh, cat right. Pack. I'm boosting it back up to 56 instead of 50. Nice. I was able to get a rod in line and leader. Not a rod, a real alignment of leader. Nice. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm close to 50 now. It's a weird balancing act. What's the that? The rod's 56. 56.2 for the rod. Mm hmm The real 57.7. Ooh, a little high. Yeah. The line's 57. Yeah, you're going to stress your rod a little bit, but... And the leader's 55, so it's going to stress the leader. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
You ever have times with this tarp, tarpon spot that just died, even at peak times? For maybe five to ten minutes, but it picks back up. I still filled the net up in two hours in game. Yes, but it just it just straight up friggin' died. No, this is just weird. Changing nights. Is there a difference between the uh, motor boats and bass boats? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of. Bass I boats are probably faster. Restricted, like restricted at a lake for some stupid reason. I don't, I don't think so. I could have. But I really don't know. All I own is the little putt putt motor boat. That's all I'm going to own until I buy a Congo pack. <laughs> I just bought the 400k uh, 250 horsepower boat. Damn. That money was burning a hole in your pocket, was it? <laughs> so I did that. I got new net, new rod stand. 
and the new rod stands at four, so I'm gonna have five rods now. If I did a whole rod set, I'm still at 860k. Wow, nice. I don't even have 860k now. Before I buy anything. I forgot all about the, the four stand. Yeah. What level was that? I think it's 50. It's, it's not high up there. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be investing in that for sure. Oh no, I gotta do the stupid pull motor. So nice. <laughs> I'm going 46 miles an hour instead of 15. Oh, nice. There he goes. Bye. <laughs> it goes a little too fast. He says as he slams into the trees. I can't rip the e brake. I float. <laughs> Now, if you could just set your four rod holder on the bow of that boat, that'd be perfect ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be amazing. Actually, that's worth a try. How do I anchor? Huh? How do I anchor? Z button is anchored. At least it is on my putt putt boat. Nope. Doesn't let me. So I park my boat around back. It's not in the way of the fishing. Yeah, it disappears for a while. Kind of. Well, it disappeared completely for me. Yeah. Look at that. Damn, that's fancy. Just one more level lid. See, about three more fish. Nubs ran his boat over the fishing hole. Now they quit biting. Scared them all <laughs> off, man. Ah, oh, I forgot to change time. I'll jump in my new boat. <laughs> the only thing that sucks is you have to hit R and then E to get off the boat. Yeah, R takes you to driving mode. In and out of driving mode. Yep. Driving to fishing modes. I'm not going to play with the two new rod sets. Beeping and jingle times five. Yeah.
Well, I'm sitting here with three baits out there, not getting a bite, and you've already got hooked up on the three different rods. Four different rods. <laughs> and honestly, I go when I go night fishing. If I don't see peak time at nine p.m., I just skip the day. Yeah, this was this is peak time for me right now. 9.30 and it's peak. And I'm not catching a thing. It's weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on with my fishing. It's been getting grungy. God, now I gotta remember five different numbers. <laughs> It's hard when they're the same rod. It's like, I know that one's that one. I gotta get a trophy tarp in so I could test to see if I could max out the uh, the real setting. Oh, is that the Gary Scott Orion bass boat you bought there? One I just unlocked. Yep. Four hundred k. Deep Horizon, thirteen foot nine rod. That's that on. Hello. Hello. Uh-huh. Nice talking to you. 13.9 foot rod. I wonder if that's a brewer rod. Oh, shark caster 73. River text 9 foot 10. I mean, nice long heavy casting rod. Ooh, can buy the heavy chaser now. Four rod holder. Unlocked a fishing place that I want to go to. The uh, willow tree. Oh, you unlocked the willow tree? Yeah, at 50. Yeah, that's, that's supposed to be a really good place. Supposed to be some big ass catfish there. Yeah, that one's the better money. Nice, I got a setup for there too.
I need something heavy to fight my new lions. I knew one. I could adjust the settings. <laughs> Although I do think I wasted money by upgrading my, my net. Why? Because it's the new 661, but at 64 I get the 800 pounder. Well, so shit, that's a lot of levels between now and then. Three levels, but... I spend 200k on this net, and then to buy the other net, it's like probably 250, 300. Should've just saved it. Three D was playing some Borderlands two last night. Who was? A new character. Jake. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we never did go back and play that anymore, did we? Nope. But right now we got between this and seven days and Diablo. Yep. And then tomorrow you're getting a game. I am? Yep. I thought tomorrow would be the time we'd feel tired of Diablo. But we've been fishing. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really been Diablo in a whole lot. So your brother is streaming something. Hopefully he's working on his campaign. He didn't seem too tickled when he... He said let him know when we were up for a Diablo session. I said you need to finish your campaign. <laughs> Hello. That was him. Mm -hmm. He was streaming a minute ago. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up? <laughs> How are you this fine day? Not bad. Not bad yourself. I'm still on the correct side of the grass. And yeah, it's right here. As long as I'm on the right side of the lawn, I'm okay. My hands hurt like freaking fire. What's that? Oh, I got arthritis. Mm -hmm. And it's been raining all day, and it, it's just a damp makes my bones hurt. There's nothing to help with that? No teas or anything? Death. 
No, I'm pretty sure there's something available for that. Make me about 20 years younger, that'd help. Oh, yeah. Not do all the dumb things I did as a youth that has wrecked my joints. <laughs> now we're talking 20 years younger or 20 years back in time? Right. Pretty sure that'd be about the same, wouldn't it? I mean, it'd be like today if you were 20 years younger today. <laughs> or 20 years back in time. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need to do all that shit again. No, I've come to the firm conclusion that youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> Cause... Hey, Fury, what's up, buddy? Nubs would still be in grade school. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Be 11 years old. 20 years ago, you'd be in grade school. Damn. Yep. Oh. That was nice. 20 years ago, I was out of the service, married, kid, working for Lockheed Martin. <laughs> when you were in your service, what were you? Was, uh, in the Army? Marines? Navy. I was in Navy. the U.S. Navy. What uh, wars did you participate in? I did not. I did not participated and I was never in combat in the Navy. I see. That's cool though. I was uh in for Desert Storm, but I was okay. stateside working on uh fighter jets. I was working on EA six Bs. That's awesome. I worked on EA six Bs and F fourteen Deltas. In Desert Storm, I think that was around the 90s, right? Yep. That's when I was in, was in the 90s. Nice. When I was born, 91. I was in, uh, I was only in for four years. I was in from 95 to 99. Something like that. 94. Yeah, I really insulted the Top Gun guys about their F-14. When I first went to uh, F-14 school out at uh, Miramar, in California, the Top Gun boys out there, and, uh, <laughs> they took us in the hangar to show us the F-14s, and uh, they had one sitting in there in the hangar floor, and there was like eight different drip pans on the floor underneath of it to catch all the hydraulic oil drips and shit coming off of it. And I was like, wow, this thing's a real hangar queen, huh? And they were they were kind of insulted by it because it was one of their best aircraft. <laughs> Turns out that uh, when F-14s are sitting on the ground, they leak all over the place because all all the seals are loose and drip and leak. But when it gets up gets up to speed and gets up into lower air pressure, all those seals swell up and everything's tight and fits and nothing leaks or oh, anything. But sitting on the ground, it's a leaky. <laughs> But nice. This one's each month Thursday. Friday Junior. I'll see this girl tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm a uh, avionics tech. I was uh John Chaser, avionics technician. Fixed all the electrical shit in the F-14s and EA-6Bs. Very nice. So yeah. What you should do, that's the kind of stuff I'm into. Hands-on. Stuff where you actually use your hands. You're not sitting at a oh, desk just nice. you know, doing random stuff. You're actually using your hands. Yeah. I like that. I was a pretty fair 
AC certified mechanic at one time, and then electronics tech for jets and shit, and I don't do much anymore. My hands are pretty well shot nowadays. It's all I can do to work this damn mouse and keyboard. I can go out and turn wrenches for an hour, and my hands hurt so bad I can't do anything. Hopefully, within the next decade or so, that'll be able to change with all the advancements in science. Yeah, that'd be nice. Good thing you're down there in the worm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, down here in the warm country where I don't have to deal with cold and frozen pipes and oh, oh no, wait. <laughs> All right. No, 33. I've got a uh, ceramic. Be on the other side of the mountain. My, my middle finger on my left hand, I've got a ceramic cap in the knuckle with a steel pin through it. And, uh, my buddy used to fucking get me all the time. If I could reach in the ice chest and grab a beer and that fucking steel pin and hit that ice, then I'd damn near piss myself. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Just instant. My buddy used to take great pleasure in trying to get me to distract it or forget and reach in the ice chest left-handed just to see me holler. <laughs> Is it the sensitivity, like cold-wise? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as that ice would get on that fucking steel pin, it would just instant. It it feel like somebody just stab a screwdriver to your hand. It's like instantly. It's like a thermal coupler straight to your nerve. <laughs> so Anthony, I can't wait to use that lawnmower. You didn't turn it on? No, not yet. How's things been going in uh, Diablo land for you, Fury? I assume you've been playing Diablo. I haven't, haven't seen. I haven't really felt like it the last couple of days. I've just been chilling out fishing. I mean, we only got three more days of this, and that's it. Yeah. Our pass is going to wear out. How much you think the bags can cost for the lawnmower? Like ten dollars? Hell no. A lawnmower bag? I'm talking at least fifty to hundred. It probably That's costs more than a damn thing. lawnmower. Yeah. You saw the picture I sent you. Compared to the lawnmower I've been using, the battery one, it's about twice, three times the size. So now it's probably me like half the time to cut my grass now. If that huge, it's also gas. Yeah, which means it probably nice. works better. Nice friggin' stratton. I still haven't got off my ass and put the server back up so we can get the get a persistent seven I'm days to die world up. We'll see. When you guys have it up, I'll probably join you guys. I haven't really played it that much. That looks pretty new. Fuck off. Let's go. Yeah, my brother gave me a game like five years ago, and I only played it maybe three or four times. You're in the shot. You're in the shot. <laughs> Get 150 kills with each minion type. Reanimation and cheap. Not bad, I got 600 pounds right now. Plus this, what's coming in? <clears throat> Not me, I got 400 pounds. And I've been here twice as long as you.
I'm just sitting here watching you reeling in fish after fish after fish. And I ain't even getting a bite. I'm in the same hole. Oh, look, I'm getting a bite now. I think 50%. I apparently wasn't yeah. whining about it enough. Half large cut, half shiner. I've got two shiners and one large cut. And the line on this pole is now in the red. So if I pass the whole game in adventure mode, would that unlock the third world tier? Or do I have to pass the game in the second tier? It doesn't matter what you finish the campaign in. You have okay, to cool. you have to beat the capstone dungeon to advance the tier. Got it. I tried to get another Vigo's amulet, but I couldn't get it. Oh really? Would you just try progressing the main line, main quest to that point? On a different character or something? No, I, uh, I guess. I guess that'd be the only way to get it. It's just creating a character and get to the quest line. Yeah. Station. But I yeah. want a higher level one. Yeah, that'd be nice, but... I think you just have to, uh, get just the, the effect. Yeah. yeah. Samus leaped out of her lazy boy chair and took off for the porch. <laughs> uh. I just got a tarpon on my glow in the dark bath plug. She's out on the porch raising hell. She don't know who that was barking, but <laughs> they don't belong here. <laughs> I wish we could catch something here. Relax. Okay. Daisy. Now she gets excited with all the dogs down my block. Plus the street next door. People walking by. Especially the Amazon people and they deliver packages, all the dogs are crazy. <laughs> Something's going after one of my shiners. Oh, actually, we're all in the same hole. It could be one of your shiners. Yeah. Somebody's about to get a bite on a shiner, anyways. Dirty dog. Made me reel my lure in fast. <laughs> All right, dog, that's enough. Fucking dog's losing her mind after Daisy barked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was more like a cry than she wanted to break. She, she went out of here, out on the back deck. She's just barking her damn head off on the deck. She don't even know what the hell she's nice. barking at. <laughs> Turned into a specimen. Said, I have the bag for it at home. You're talking about the lawnmower. 
and he will be with you. Okay. Oh yeah. That's about the warrior too. All right, my rods are dead. I am past due to change nights. I didn't catch anything in 10 minutes at change nights. I can't get used to number five. Can't get used to number five? Yeah, it's a new run. Oh. I've been spamming one to three for so long. <laughs> My bottom rods are five, six, and seven. So I'm going to go for a fourth here pretty soon now. When I leave here. Uh, Wait, nope, wrong rod. Don't catch that out there. Jet bad. The shrine keeper. No, it's fifty fifty for the real, so you should be fine. You're gonna have to get to What the hell did I just catch? It left the fucking neighborhood. <clears throat> Got all three rods. I don't know what's on that one, but it's friggin' huge and I hope it gets away. I don't know if it's the new reel, but this thing is smacking on the reel then. I gotta get a trophy tarpon to test it for sure. <laughs> well, I've been yanking them right in. All right, but this one just this this one's just leaving. It's a fucking rocket ship, whatever it is. It's gotta be tarpon. It just stripped a hundred feet of line in like two seconds. This is a fifty-pound setup. So my line is down to. 35%? No. That leader's 35%. 34%. That's so sick. My line's in the red. It's about to war the fuck out. Oh, shit, he just... I bought replacements for everything. Took another 100 foot of line. Yeah, I think I might have got the uni. Yes, there he goes. <laughs> two seconds flat to go from a hundred foot to two foot, two hundred foot out.
that run out finally. Damn, he was only a trophy and fought me that hard? Jeez. I thought sure I had a uni. It's on the page No. Tell him, Daisy. I can take you outside and play fetch with you. When you can pass the campaign. <laughs> Search for the abbot of the monastery. Like the back of a commercial boat here, the way we're winching in fish on it. Yeah, let me know when Ernie drops off the back and I'll go pick it up now. I don't know if he's coming today or another day. No, I'll be some good today. Give it to you for a good price. I mean, give me a lot more for a good price. It's 60 <laughs> bucks. What's it called? I know it was a craftsman, but... Brig and Stratton. Briggs and Stratton's the manufacturer of the engine. Okay. They make okay. damn good motors. Keep the oil right in it. That damn thing will last forever. Yeah, I was thinking it's like a tank. Compared to your little electric one, I'm sure. Yeah, the only thing that's going to suck about that is I'm going to have to cut my grass later. Before I used to cut, be able to cut my grass around 7 in the morning, a lot more is nice and quiet. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of shit. Yeah, your neighbors probably wouldn't appreciate a 7 o'clock bowing. <laughs> you might find yourself getting sprayed with a garden hose. Not that I've ever done that to one of my neighbors. Did he wear a white t-shirt? <laughs> and it was a common occurrence. <laughs> Just made him come out more often. Spray me. Beeping away. Gonna jingle. Beeping and jingling. No, so oh, are you kidding me? That's nubs fish. Stay off my line. <laughs> the bait. <laughs> so, 
whole seeds, or someone said in high levels you get to catch shiny and human face. I heard that, yeah. Nice snookles. Very nice. I haven't been anything fight worthy yet. Yo, what's up? And I have a skill. I'm able to spawn a pool of miasma per each corpse that spawns, causing thousand and a thousand six damage DPS. Oh. So we kill a gigantic mob, and we have corpses everywhere. I can spawn miasma pools all around us, protecting us. Very good. Three demos. If you want them to fight you, you got to let them run out there a little ways. You can't just yard them in. They won't fight you much in the shallow. Let them, oh, let them go for a minute, and then they'll fight you. It's hard to fight. Or a nice heavy drum. Like a 70, 80 drum. Shit, you want drum, I'll take you up the other spot and show you where the drum are. The uni drum left and right. I just have to change the bait. Where was the bait for the No, you don't have to change the bait. It's exact same as what you're doing here. Oh, it was muscle, right? That's all you're getting drums? Um mostly drums. Still getting the cats too. But uh yeah, the shiners and the cut bait still you'd wreck the uni drum up there. Red drum and black drum in the same spot, unis. In the in and tarpon, also in the same spot. And in the daytime, you catch that, the permits there, but you don't get many of them at night. That 80 ponder got wrecked. Just yanked him right in, huh? Oh, it was bad. <laughs> I almost gave him a taxi cab here. Weeping Willow. Man, I gotta look that up. Make a setup. Yep. No, oh, I you might as well. Let's see. This is. Oh, it's carp farming. I don't have carp rods. I guess I you don't need carp rods. They work just fine on your bottom rods. Light moose, tiger, everybody's uh, uh -huh. Um. Oh, whoa. Take one. Man. A weeping willow fishery. I was uh, just wrecking the carp on the Delta yesterday with just my same setup I'm using right here. Same hooks and everything. The only thing I changed was the bait to peas. I'm still using the same barbless 5 odd hooks. The whole nine yards. I just put peas on them and was just wrecking the carp. Uni carp.
And I was going to farm the cart, but I saw Sturgeon was more money, so I went Sturgeon. But it's the whale's kitty fish. The uni wells catfish. Oh, I was talking to that guy the other day and he's like, Yeah, catfish farming's where it's at. And I said, Yeah, that's what we do at Glunskin. He's like, No, no, willow catfish. You have a lot of I mean, carp there. If we're going catfish, I could go crazy on that. That's easy. So is the carp. I mean, there there's absolutely no difference between catfishing and carp fishing, other than the bait. I think I'd up it and throw a seven on hook, maybe eight on. For these catfish? Yeah, eight or ten ought. I see a lot of them on the bite map. They're catching them with 10 aughts. And on that note, I'm actually going to go try it out, I think. Yeah. I have Maybe to I have to go repair one of my rods anyways. It's my, my line and everything's just about broken. Don't forget the four rod. Hell yeah. It's only 12K. It's worth I, it. I need the holder and the fourth rod to go on it. Yep. Do you want a bottom rod set up? Yeah, I'm going to get a bottom rod. Sure. Actually, I might even have one. I don't know. To look. Oh, okay. If, if not, I could I could tell you what, what's a good setup so you're not looking. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no. Uh, oh my god. I wonder if I need the bigger net. Oh, this will hold a hundred and sixty-five pound fish. That should be big enough. Yeah, but those wells get up to two hundred, so you might want that bigger net. Two hundred yeah. K though. Two hundred K. It's a big hit. It is a big hit. That is a big hit. But if you get the uni wells, it's worth it. Fish Citadel XL, 185,000. 220 pounds, 661. Yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. And sell that one. Gee, I get a whole 31,000 back. So the 150, that's not bad. Um, <clears throat> See, it sounds like this, I want to have a different, no second monitor or TV. I need a 50 pound line and leader. To repair your broken one? Yeah, my line was down to 8% on my 50 pound rod. Actually, I would have, well, how much cash you got? I would upgrade it. My 50 pounder? That's, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I need to buy a whole complete setup, though. I'll probably just keep this one. In. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I have any 50 pound line. You should. I would think so. You should have two packs of it. 
Well, mine one pack, but leader's two packs. Oh, here it is. 50.7 50. pound. Oh, I need a leader. Go sit down. They shuffle down when you leave and come back. We should. Uh, you, uh, went right on out there. Hello. Hello. Do you not use the templates? I don't, uh, no, I never have used the templates. I don't know how to use them. Somebody said something about that to me today, and I don't know shit about it. What the hell's a template and how do you use it? Where do you find one? Oh, templates. Oh, for different packs or something? What is this? No, those are presets from the packs. You don't have to use those presets, though. Yeah, no. And I have shit all mixed up. I don't want to change it up. What the hell am I doing? I'm making a 34 pound kit for some reason. Oh, that, yeah, I'm just moving it actually. That's my float rod. I was just moving it to a different slot. This is going to be my new bottom rod. What do I need? I don't think I have anything decent here. I think I'll have to buy one. I'm going to want a heavy chaser or something. Heavy, heavy. Yeah, just checking what I got. I got a ton of fucking rods. No. All right. Oh, you're going to want the Heavy Chaser 910. What do I want the 910? Because it's the 56 run setup. So, yeah, it's 56. I think I'd rather have the... I want the 10-footer, though. It's a 59. I don't think there's a 59 reel out there yet. I 
something for me, dear. Shit, there's a oh, that's Bitcoin. Fifty-seven. I'll do that. I'll put a fifty-seven on a fifty-nine. That's close enough for me. And that'll let me have the longer rod for slightly better castings. That'll give me a 59 rod, 57 reel. What we got for buying? It's going to be a braid, uh, 57 pounder. I really got to, I really got to clean up my mess. Yeah, I, I get rid of all the low, low, uh, cut stuff. I'll probably have to buy some. Yeah, all right. Uh, can't buy a 57 number eight. I can get a 66. Go down one. Oh, here we go. 57 pound. And the leader that you're going to buy is titanium. Uh, so 55, 55 one. Nice. 55 ones. Yeah, I went with the uh, the other the heavy chase and ten for balance. Uh, it is close enough balanced for me. I'm gonna go with an eight off barbless hook. And some uh, large cut bait. What do we got here? This is a seventy pound, seventy pound, seventy pound, seventy pound. Five up. We need to go eight up barbless. And some catfish bait. Here, this is my fifty-six pound. Reel's only fifty-two. I upgrade that reel. Do I have a fifty-six pound reel? Don't have one. I could put a fifty seven on it though, right? Sit down at fifty six. Yeah, I put that. And I used the braid and the titanium on that 56. Ah, I just got a water day. X series bobber and three bait coins for spending money. I did it for the boat. And the boat <laughs> gave it to me 400k. So I got two fifty-five pound kits and a seventy.
works for me. Um, and my sport kit, which is a 56 pound. I got a 53 pound reel though. Should I do it again? What's the win? 56. 56. Oh yeah, hidden overlook, waypoint. I'm jealous. Why is it? You have three of them. I only got two. All oh, those reels? Yeah. Alright, there's four bottom rigs. 50, two fifty sixes, a seventy, and a fifty nine. I guess you don't need to put. No, no, you do have to put the leader in. Yeah, those are my two lure rods, and that's my float rig. <clears throat> All right, and I got the four rod holder. I've got the net. I did put on the net, right? Yeah, fish it at LXL. Okay. Let's go fishing. Where the hell is this place? UK. Boats are not allowed. Yeah, we go someplace where your brand new boat can't go. <laughs> Seems like fair. Oh, sorry, Rotor. I wasn't uh, trying to ignore you up there. I was paying attention to what I was doing. Three pounds might not be worth it for now, but I will be upgrading the rest of the parts before too long, so... I'm going to Arbor Lake spot. I think. Is that what I want? That is indeed what I want. Cannibals. But I'm also going to do a maybe a friends only room. I don't know. Yeah. That's it. Mm. Let's pick a spot. Do I have any markers? I do. Yes, and now probably this hole, huh? Maybe. I would say somewhere out in this hole, right? Yeah. Probably have to before long. I've been recycling the last few. 
Oh, you don't have to do that, man. I keep a... Whenever I leave a fishing area, I've been taking my markers with me because I ran out. You should take this eight pound catfish with you. I'm just stingy with my bait coins. I don't know why. It's not like I got anything else to do with them. I want to buy the unlimited pass. Yeah, we're going to play with the catfish for a little bit. You ain't going to let me get all four rods in the water. We'll just throw some over board out there. Oops. Damn it, man. I'm playing musical rods. Right, everybody get back in the right slots. There we go. Let's see what happens. Guess I should put some bells on my other rods too, but I'm sure the rod holder will be noisy enough without them. You looking for markers? No, I bought some. I bought the uh, big pack, seventeen yeah, bait coins for thirty three. They're on yeah, sale. That's what I did All right, catfish. I'm not a patient man. Let's go. Mm. All right, clock started.
How come all the bite times I'm seeing on most of these cat fish are in the daytime? Because they're in the daytime. I'm sure that you're not telling me these catfish are day feeders. Um, I could probably use a little drag on this. That, uh, that Leviathan 10,000 reel, it, it keeps up with the tarpon. Rush. Nice. This thing is nicely balanced. I can put it right in the red. This is my old rod with the new reel. Yeah, you just one spot you can't go into. Yep. <laughs> what do we got here? Just a little 59 pound unique Wells catfish. Look at the price on that thing. 1500 XP and almost five grand money. It's all right. 60 pounds for a unique Wells. I think that's small. I think so too. But my first fish on the lake, I'm not going to complain. No, no, you really can't. Holy crap. Router is spamming me with. Markers. Let's see what we got here. Unique mirror cart. Sounds good. Unique grass cart. Unique ghost cart. Unique common cart. Unique leather cart. Carp Colossus. Take it you like your carp. Of course, not one of them is where I'm fishing. Holy cow, that's a hell of a carp hole over there. Oh, yeah. There's like a whole uni get together over in that corner, isn't there? Is that you over there, Nobs? Or is that router? That must be router. No, it's not me. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm going to have to go play in that car pole here. <laughs> Shit, I'm in the road. Don't run me over. Where the hell am I? That collection of markers. You only get carpet. That's fine. Not okay, so some targeted fishing. And all next week. Let's play with Barbies for a bit. What are we looking at? Finally. Akio, Jailer of the Week. Might have changed my hooks back down. Go back to the five ops.
I'm not really set up for carp fishing, but we'll just throw them some peas and see what they think. And I think with the carp rods you set up, you can use the scents and the boilies and all that crap, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, bottom rod and peas. vegetables semolina peas dough balls corn that's it I don't know what all these pellets and pop-up pellets and boilies I don't even know how to use all that shit Save blood and dust completed. I'm sure I have a bunch of it, but it's probably at home. Yeah, I got boilies, but I don't have carp rods, so I can't use them. Hey, you can actually buy a large cut bait on a catfish lake. That's different. I can get sweet peas. Is that better than regular peas? Yeah, I like sweet better. Oh, my. Here we are. customer what beer little feather mm -hmm. new personal record beer card 12 pounds
Of garbage. A leather carp. I don't know if three of my rods look identical to each other now. You can't tell them apart anymore. That's what's going to happen when I hit 54. Four of them are going to look the same. <laughs> I usually change the bells up. I do this, baby. Hey, you went and got daytime on me. What's up with that? Huh? This is a practice run. I gotta pull the ball in and finish the time.
Nice. Mother's mm -hmm. judgment. <clears throat> Am I still far from Act Four after Mother's Judgment? Uh, and don't five really remember. We're talking about Act Four. You said Act Four. I get the horse, right? I'm in Act Three right now. Mother's Judgment. So yeah. how far is that from Act Four? I don't remember. Okay. One of the acts is so fast, you like that was it. Act four is super fast. Act three is long. Good thing I have life regen. I just ran out of potions. Mm -hmm. hey, you're on Beautiful. difficulty one, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Actually, I haven't died once, which is pretty nice. And I faced like probably ten bosses already. Elites and all that. That's good. That's why I can't wait to start playing with you guys on a necromancer. Now that he's getting beefed up. There were definitely places, even on uh, adventure level, that I needed some help, so. Well, this place is pretty cool. I don't think it can compete with Tarpon for farming. But it's pretty nice. Damn. Total life and kill. How are you doing, Pepper? Hmm? Oh, you been, sweetie? I haven't seen you in a while. Usually you check on me more often than this. People been doing things in the kitchen. It's too interesting. You can't you can't bear to walk away from the kitchen. Yep. Oh, hi. Yeah. Get the big lab hug, do I? Yeah, get the big lab hug. You're banging the microphone. And I got BPs. You're gonna have to get up on the kids since you're officially. Yeah, there's there's definitely some garbage issue here.
I suspect if you're rigged up with carp rods and the fancy baits, you could probably rack them in here pretty damn fast, couldn't you? I just need to throw some questionable red chum in there and <laughs> it'd be fine. That's pretty badass. You can actually extract the... the hell did I kill? Aspects from legendary weapons and items all together? Yeah, you, you extract them and you can put them on your other gear. Oh, well, we got a beeping fifth going on now. That's obnoxious beat. That fourth rod holder gets even more high pitched. Not oh, good, he got away, thank God. My old catfish pack rod, or my old sport rod's on the struggle bus pulling in this carp. Unique grass carp, 49.4 pounds, 3,100 XP and $3,700. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a nice card. Not if I can just catch those consistently. I never thought of that. What's that? That a what? Someone's. No, I'm watching a YouTube video and someone bringing home some pizza. And they got heated seats, they turn on the heated seats to keep the pizza warm while they take it home. <laughs> like, that's neat. Mm -hmm. That next three is pretty damn awesome. You still live and streaming, Ed? I am live and streaming. Okay. I'm streaming Twitch and YouTube. Nice. I was going to say something, but not in the live stream. 
Yeah. That would probably be a good choice. Probably wouldn't affect me, but still. Oh, it might. Nah, there's nothing bad. <laughs> but, uh, I am, however, pretty close to ready to get off of here and go find some dinner. I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but according to my ass, it's way too long. It's been... I gotta be going on 10 hours or 11 hours now. Hell, my rods are the same length now. That's nice. Relax. I forgot to get me a new uh, lure casting rod while I was there, though. I think I got either a seven or eight foot heavy chaser. That's a 50 pound setup. When they're on a the pole holder, they're all exactly the same length. Two more nuts, I'm 52. How much money do I spend anyways? I still got 400 grand. I'm not broke. But I do need to do more farming. I'm close to up to one mil again. You must have been pushing two mil when you went on your spending spree, huh? I spent a lot. I don't know. But my, what that, are... That's what happens when you hit your head against a wall of sturgeon environment. <laughs> my lure rods are a 23 pound and a 55 pound. That's a 48 reel, 55, 41 liter. It's a 23, 23, 20, 18. Yeah, I definitely got to upgrade my lure rods for sure. So the old glow in the dark crank bag it out there and see if anything will bite it. The old Wells catfish will occasionally bite the thing. What well, as soon as I do the rub rod goes off. This is a serious cart. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he is, but he's a beefy boy. Might be a record dark for me right here. Forty six point eight pound unique common carp, new personal record. Like your spot, router. I'm 
Did you get for it? Oh, I don't have time to look. All my other rods are gone. Chris Capstone Dungeon becomes available in World Tier 1. He wasn't as good as my other one. Uh, let's see, let me look at my net. The unique common carp was 1800 XP and $3,681. The unique grass carp was over 3000 XP and 3780 money. The grass was the carp a fight? Huh? Was that unique grass a fight? It was less than the one I just did. I mean, it was a fight, but not much of one. It ain't like pulling in a tarpon. Okay. more like a big catfish they fight but they don't really run very far Yeah, I don't have any actual garp rods. I do, but they're 34 pounders. You can probably get to one of these on a 34 pound rod, but you're going to earn it. These were both, one was 49 and the other was 46. I still don't even know what the hell a spud kit is. There's what it's for. It's like a a rod with a hollow torpedo that has bait in it. Oh, so the spud thing has bait in it. Yeah. The Sputnik. It's going to be like the fish is named after one of the ships that went into space in what, the 70s or 80s? <clears throat> one of the space shuttles. I can, uh, I can buy a 58 pound carp rod here. Not that I'm gonna, but I could. Router's heading to you to demonstrate. Oh, so a spot rod is basically for chumming. Is that what that is? You want some miles, your mind? Okay, I see you got your missile on the end of it. So is that, you just toss that out there and it spreads bait or something? Bait bag, basically? You don't actually catch fish on the spod rod, that's just for chumming.
Interesting. So it's an attractant. Looks like if you filled that thing up with gravel, it'd be pretty good for whipping the shit out of nubs, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I say that out loud? My bad. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm in the other lake. Get out of my fishing hole. Whop! <laughs> right. I caught, I caught the pansy carp. Probably like four pounds of gravel in that thing. <laughs> it's pretty big. I caught a seven pound carp on my 70 pound rod. Uh, I don't think it was working very hard. Meanwhile, Router's beating me with his spot over here. set up over here. His rods are all clones. The elbow is trying. Hmm. Oh, no. The last rod is not like the others. I wonder if the elbow gets brought back to life. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Quit screaming. Um, Diablo. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know that he even makes an appearance in this version. Which is kind of weird since the game's named after him. Yeah, I just saw they have a shrine made after him. They mentioned him in the lore, but I think that's it. Uh, I should check my time. My fish is getting awful bad. Uh, it's worth casting back out. We used to go catfishing on the, uh, Trinity Lake up in Northern California. We'd go build a big old bonfire on the bank and we'd all sit around in our easy chairs drinking beer and catfishing. Three 56 pound carp rods in one bottom. Nice. And we'd uh, get a can of dog food, just regular can of wet dog food, stab a bunch of holes in it with an ice pick and tie it on a nice heavy string and just sling it out there where we were catfishing at. And the stink of that canned dog food would bring in catfish from all over the place. We'd just throw our baits near where that can was at. Catch catfish all night. Wake up in the morning with a whole bunch of catfish and a hangover. You can eat catfish for months. I made the mistake of telling my buddies that, you know, that's what we used to do for a living was commercial catfishing on Lake Okeechobee. And, uh, I got drafted into cleaning all the catfish. Well, you know how to do this then. Here, bye. <laughs> that's when you just do one and say, oh, okay, I was never good at it. <laughs> With the right skinning bench set up, I can I can skin a bunch of catfish in a hurry. Keep 
We used to do about. Oh, actually, just hauling in there. We used to do about 200 pounds a day, and it didn't take long. You should be able to buy a life for a second. That, that's when you uh, you acquired the beer tax to get like a Each beer. Each enemy. Two or three. <laughs> well, when I when I was doing 200 pounds a day, I was about wow, like at eight years old. <laughs> uh, uh, nice. Start them early. <laughs> So what's the better gem to put in armor? Something that would give you healing received or thorns? I'd put health. Max health would be my yeah. Or healing received and max health. Because other ones reflect damage, so yeah, health. Mm -hmm. There's also barrier protection. They're barrier generation. Barrier, like if you're a barrier build, those are really good. If you don't use at least two barriers, they're kind of wasted. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm off. Damn it, Dubs. <laughs> I wasn't close enough to see if Router jumped over to check his pulse. I'm fishing at this hole really bad today. New personal record trophy grass cart. Man, he's worth more than a uni. Oh, wait. That was a uni. Never mind. That was a uni ghost cart. <laughs> In too much of a hurry to grab my other rod. Let's look at him in the net. actually a, um, an achievement for catching ghost carp. Uh, unique ghost carp. 46 pounds, 3,525 XP, $4,233. Tasty. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, never mind, it was gold pike. You got the oh. point of that. <laughs> they actually give you a uh, match rod. Really? Yeah. Nice. But it's a Halloween event. My freaking home bait thing is chock full of Halloween baits. Freaking eyeballs and all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to go. I'm down to the point where it's P or BP, Don. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and shut down and take a dinner break. So all of you hanging out watching, I appreciate you. Hanging out watching, I appreciate you. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Why am I got a huge echo all of a sudden? Why am I got a huge echo all of a sudden? Why am I got a huge echo all of a sudden? Are you watching nubs? <laughs> that was a crazy echo. Well, that was a crazy echo. All right, well, anyways, as I was saying, all of you watching, hanging out, appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the fishing, and we'll uh, see you later on. I may come back for a little more farming this evening after dinner. 
Or I may go pass out. I don't know. (laughs) But y'all have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Router, thanks for all the uh, tips and uh, markers. I appreciate that, man.